everybody and welcome to the East DC Collider Cup number two. Be a double elimination tournament for you today. Probably lasting a few hours here. I'm Havakaro. I'll be solo casting today, but joining me behind the scenes, doing all the graphical work for you is Timmy. So all the hard work behind will be him. And I'm just going to outline the day. We've got, well, as I said, double elimination will be streaming covering one match from each round of the upper bracket so one from round one one from the quarters one from the semis and then the winners final after that we'll drop down to the losers bracket and just try and cover what we can there i think we're going to go from the quarter final from what i can see on my screen which looks good and then once we get the winner of the loser bracket and the winner of the winner bracket we'll be into the grand final which will be best of five i believe I think I hopefully got that right. So be a very interesting day up ahead. Um, if you go onto the bracket, which I think a lot of you have realized, exclamation mark bracket, there will be obviously the bracket in front of you and it will show which matches will be streamed. So we'll have B, E, J, K, and then T, V, W, and then of course the grand final as well for you. But uh, quickly before we get into this, few things I probably need to cover before we get started. We've got the ECC Season 4 starting on the 19th of this month, 19th of June. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, the seedings pretty much there, and we're hoping to get the leagues presented to you tomorrow, if it will work as a plan. As well as that, you can head over to Match Radio, which will be in the Smash GG page, I believe, and you can... Use the code Collider2 to contribute 50 cents to our prize pool for today as well. So, onto the bracket here. Hopefully, we'll be starting soon. I think game A is the only one which has started at the moment. But the first game we will cover is Ascension Kronos versus Ignatian. Ignatian? I hope I said that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, I kind of forgot how I was meant to say it. But. On the Ascension side will be Skyfall, Ziri, Horo, and Big Manitou versus Weevil, Dennis, and Bree. So two very interesting teams up ahead. I mean, Ignition has quite a mix of players, if I say so myself. And, you know, that'll make it quite hard to predict what will happen here. But you know, we'll have to see how they perform. I think the last team Weevil's in, they got quite close. They did quite well. I can't actually remember who was with that team in the ECC and URLA Cup, but we'll have to see if their performance continues and maybe they can get through here. But after that, we'll have the game between Unlucky and the winner of Copnick Gaming versus S Dead. Hope I said that right too. If I slander a few names, if I get them a bit wrong, I apologize in advance. I might not get them all fully correct, but I think we're heading into the lobby of game number one. Ignition Esports at the home side against Ascension Kronos or Kronos. So we're just going to have to wait for the two teams to get in. But yeah, I think maybe... Maybe I'll take a shot at prediction, you know, it won't be the same without. And normally what I say in a prediction is normally the opposite, so you d don't take my word for it. But I think, uh, oh, it's going to be close. It is, I think it will be close. I think Ignition might actually have a chance here, and in a best of three, if they get game one, they can easily push it forward quickly into game two as well. So yeah, we're, for anyone asking, we're best of three all the way through to the grand final, I believe, as well. So very intense, quick games for you if you're involved in the playing side of things. Yeah, I think Ignition might take this 2-1. I'm going to go with bold prediction, but I think they can do it. We've got Bree and Dennis in already. Two players from the Ignition side.
just having to wait for the rest of the players to get in. You know, in chat, if you know any of these players, if you, you know, have a knowledge of who's playing, you know, you drop a prediction down in the chat, I'll be happy to read it out and maybe a bit of competition can come in the chat and with me with the predictions as well. Got the nation side waiting for Ascension to hop on in as well. Obviously here Ascension picked up this team from the season before and extended their org out a bit. So maybe, I think it might be their first appearance on stream for you before season four begins. And we're actually getting everybody in now. We're just waiting for one more. Perfect. And Horo hopped in. Right, everybody is in now. We're allowing them to hop on into the match and match one on stream. Have to see how they perform game one. The nerves might be with them and in a best of three situation they have to be switched on from the off. Weevil tracking back to Bree there. A good pass back to start it off. Maybe trying to get a bit of confidence going, but the double touch from Per into Sky and the opening goal from Ascension early on, 12 seconds played. Bit of an unpredictable pass there from Perfect. Straight to Sky, great pass in the end, but that finish. And the Marshmallow Man just starting off game one in style and Maybe they can continue this here. Perfect. Trying to get that drifted pass across to the right. Didn't quite work out. No one there to follow. Dennis, probably being one of the star players of his team today if they do progress. Pushing forward Weevil with quite a weak clear away down the centre. And there's no clearance over Bree. An open net for Horo. And Ascension with the second of this game. Early on 30 seconds played. And maybe they're looking to get a really confident start, try and get the momentum going in game one. Obviously in round one as well, it's a great place to get going. Weevil knocking it past, they need to try and get forward here and get a goal back quickly. Horro down the left hand side into that corner area, trying to get that flick into the middle underneath Bree. Weevil with that clear though. No saves have been made on either end yet. Three shots to Ascension, zero to Ignatian. Ignatian. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess that up so much today. But Horro couldn't get that clear. Sky playing it forward, Bree having to just turn around and try and get that clear, but it's pitched down the center again. Something Ignition have a bit of trouble with here as each of their clears isn't too strong, but we're over there straight down the center. And now the redirect attempt from Horro, no connection made, cleared away by Dennis. Now, perfect. Up high. Maybe go for a dribble, maybe a flip reset, but just that one touch will do. The 50 wasn't there. Sky with the follow-up into the bottom left. And after the 90 seconds, Ascension Kronos have a 3-0 lead here. And you know there is time. Game two is there for ignition if needed, but right now. Ascension seem to be running it away with it early on. Dennis onto the left. Horro back down the right hand side and Bree with that touch away. Perfect. Maybe able to get the touch. Not quite though. Sky up high into the back. We're bouncing down. Double touch. Temp down into the middle, but no one was there to predict it from either side in the end. We've with the flick forward cleared away by Perfect and Dennis having to try and take that away quickly. To the right. He does get the clear away, but. There's low real pressure further on. Bree trying to get that going, but it didn't quite work out. The Weevil so quite awkwardly here. Can't get the touch. The follow-up from Sky up high. The bump from Weevil on the opposition was good, but there's still pressure from Perfect. And the Ascension side, there's no clearance inside as of yet. Horro with the quick shot. Dennis is there to hook it away, away from the line. As Bree and Weevil were just struggling to get a touch away on that. And the passing plays from Ascension. Trying to gain their confidence even more. Trying to settle into this match. It seems like they're still struggling a bit despite being 3-0 up here. 
free with that clearance. Trying to turn around. She might be able to pass it into the middle. It didn't quite happen though. Sky was there in her face early on. And now perfect with the follow up on the clear. Brie taking her time once again to get the clear horror with the touch. But Dennis does get the clear. And it wasn't very far, but it did the job with two minutes left. And three at nil down. Ignition have to be a bit careful here. They need to try not to concede anymore. Maybe get one or two before the end and gain a bit of momentum, gain a bit of a good mentality going into game two. Of course, as it's best of three, you have to be on it from the off, but there is a chance to turn it around still. Three into the corner, trying to get a second touch on it. Perfect, being bumped away, I believe, but the clearance, the double commit in the end, working out. Now the full up onto the backboard, an open net for Sky, but the read was a bit difficult. Didn't quite happen there, but they are freeing a lot. They don't need to pressure themselves too much. Horro with that read into the net. A great play to make it four to seal the deal here. It's using that boost control, feathering through the air to keep up with the ball. With one minute left, there's enough time, but I don't think it will happen here to Dennis to try and get it going they need a goal soon they need a goal fast to try and take anything from this game number one but Sky keeping up the pressure Ascension just a dominating right now Horo into the corner once again They're not really intending on shots right now just keeping the possession and not trying to put themselves under too much pressure defensively Sky forward Bree into the center where Weevil is awaiting but the pass was not picked up by Dennis and perfect up high. Maybe going for a flip reset, but going a bit too far away. A bit too close to that backboard area. Couldn't get that touch. But now Horro into the center. Weevil picks it up, but perfect is there before being demoed by Weevil. And with 15 seconds left, Ignition, all they can hope for is a goal. Just to try and change the sense of this game late on, but... Once again, being fallen down, they can't do much here. And maybe my prediction before this game was a bit of a hard one to make, as I said before. It was a bit bold of me to make it, but they could still turn this around. But after a 4-0 in game one, it seems like it might not work that way. With nine shots there to Ascension 2 compared to Ignition's 1. It just seems like a bit of an overpowerment here in attack in the overall play as well. Two saves to Perfect, two saves to Dennis. I think Dennis just played as that anchor man in the end trying to sit behind his two teammates here and maybe... Just being that star man in the team of Ignition. He needs to try and push forward a bit more. Try and get those shots going and you know, try and outwit the opposition. He's got the brain power. He's got the skill to do it. Brian Weevil just needs to try and utilise his play, utilise his pressure. But as we head into game number two. Pretty much do or die here for Ignition as it is a best of three. They're one nil down in games. If Ascension take game number two, they're through to the quarterfinal match and game number two here. Kickoff about to get underway. Ignition need a goal to start it off probably. They need to try and get the opening. But Horro with that clear early on. Sky trying to get that touch. Didn't quite work out. And Bree pushing forward. Trying to get a bit of pressure on early on. Maybe taking the first shot would be good. Try and test the goalkeeper. Test the defence of Ascension. And Dennis is trying to do just that. Onto the crossbar. Weevil with the follow-up again. Couldn't get it in. And it's already a bit more promising from Ignition. Horro in the middle to Sky. Bree trying to get... In the mix there, trying to get the clear away. Weevil with that touch over Sky and perfect 
actually trying to get that ball. To the ball ending up being taken away by a teammate of Sky. And three trying to get that ball, trying to get the interception. We've all could have got the follow up goal there, but the shot was just a bit too weak. A bit of a mechanical error there from him. Perfect. Over to Horo, the shot going in. It's actually just a bit wide, maybe a pass intended instead. Dennis with the clear weevil, just opting to track back. He could have tried to turn on that and get the shot, but maybe the confidence just wasn't there quite yet. Weevil with the shot attempt again. A great pass in from Dennis, and right now, Ignition dominating early on, but the domination isn't working out. Horo with the opener, despite all the pressure on the Ignition side, and with 90 seconds gone. Ignition Esports are finding themselves on the back foot once again. But at this point in game one, they were three goals down. So it is something to be proud of at the moment. They're seeming better. They're seeming more like a contender here in game two. And as a ball goes flying forward, Horro with that clear bring. Keep the pressure up, trying to get that touch into the middle. And it goes back to Dennis, who can shoot with these onto the bar again. Just a bit above onto the backboard. But Dennis there once again can brief follow up. She's just a bit too far back, I'm not sure. She's collecting boosts or what was happening there, but maybe a push forward would have done them good. And Dennis is getting a weak touch out, maybe intending to drop it down for Weevil. And that was a bit close, a bit of an awkward play from Weevil. He just about knocks it away. But falling down, zero boost. Not with the ball control he needed and perfect. With the clear away, Dennis into that corner area in the sky. Keeping the pressure on their rotations tight. They're playing it into the middle and the shot is there. Foro with the second of the game. And his second as well. Sky with a great pass and Weevil. He's just not expecting that here. Reaching the halfway mark. Ascension find themselves ahead by two here. And they're looking a bit more confident as perfect. With the shot, Bree doesn't get a touch. It's going to hit the post, fortunately, for Ignition. And they're still here with a chance. They got a bit lucky, though. Sky, with the shot, Weevil has to turn. Gets the clearance away and... After missing boost, he couldn't follow it up. Dennis, out to the left, perfect up high, and there's no challenge on the ball yet from Ignition, and their slow speed has been capitalised upon by Sky, but can they get a goal from it? It's over Dennis, it's Horu with the shot. Trying to bag the hat-trick in game two, didn't quite work out, and... Weevil, trying to follow Bree with the clearance. Perfect, didn't get a touch either, and... A miss from Bree. Dennis with the shot. Horo does knock it away. It wasn't the greatest of shots, but at least they finally did test the goalkeeper in a way which action was needed to be taken. Weevil trying to get it up high. Couldn't get that wall read though. Now Bree cutting inside. Maybe a fake would have done better there as Horo wasn't seemingly expecting that. Now the ball's around. The Ascension box, Bree with the shot, perfect away. It was a bit weak onto their own backboard as well. Dennis with the follow-up, will they get their first? Perfect away, Weevil gets the one goal back. Being in the right place at the right time, it was a great save from Perfect. But Weevil with that finish, Horo can track back. With one minute left. There is a chance here. Left on the clock. And as shown in chat, this game isn't the highest of level in terms of quality, but you know there are multiple teams who will be providing good content as well. But the intensity of this match is great at the moment as Ignition needs to try and get the next goal to push it to an overtime potentially. Horror. Back to Sky. It was a bit of a weak pass. Dennis. Playing it forward as well. Into the middle. Can he get the shot? No, he can't. It's cleared away. Now Bree into that corner area. Perfect. Can't get the clear away. And there was a chance. But Horro 
was there to cut it out. We can get the shot Bree looping in behind, rotating in well to get that clear away, but forward from Sky, trying to get that redirect, didn't quite work out. Now with five seconds left, Ignition needs it now. They need a goal to stay in the upper bracket. It looks like it's going to be cleared away. Dennis there to receive it, but it's going to be knocked down by Horo and Ascension Kronos follow through into the upper quarter final. While on stream, Ignition Esports, your first team down into the lower bracket. 2-0. For Ascension, of course. Bit of a sweep for them. Game two was a bit closer there. You can see shots, they were quite even. Saves were even. And that Weevil goal wasn't enough to really turn it around that game. And they did lose 2-1 in the end. But I think right now we're just having to wait for the rest of round one to finish. I'll update you as the matches do come through. But the next game will be Unlucky versus the winner of Kopnik Gaming versus S Dead. Which still go on, no matches reported so far. And no other matches have been confirmed yet. I'm not sure if that means it'll be a very close matches or not, but right now we're just going to have to sit and wait here. But yeah, the winner of this game, so Ascension in the end, will go and face AVX Esports in the winner quarterfinal. So that'll be them facing Samurai THMS Thomas, I believe. Sorry. <laughs> My brain didn't work for a few seconds there. Oggy and Creed in that match. So that match. That match between Ascension and Ignition confirmed here. And I think. We'll have a couple of minute break just while we wait for the game we're waiting on. So game A to finish. And we'll be back with you shortly to update you on what's happened so far.
there's something so special about you and me, babe. You got me, you got me, you got me feeling fine. So just say the words, cause you know what it means to me, babe. When you got me, you got me, you got me feeling fine. And we are back here for the winner, winner's quarterfinal, sorry, where it will be Unlucky versus Copnick Gaming to battle it out to try and push for that semi-final spot, the upper semi-final, of course. Um, elsewhere, Dream Eaters won 2-0 against Redwater Aqua, winning 6-1 and 5-2 in the process. And actually going back to Copnick Gaming versus S Dead, it was 2-1 to Copnick Gaming. 2-0, 1-2, and 3-1, respectively, for them. So, we'll be having them versus Unlucky when both teams ready up, both teams confirm, which I hope does happen here. We're just waiting for the score of Lil Rockets versus Ascension to come through as well. So, we we'll have to wait for that one. Yeah, Unlucky versus Copnick Gaming on the Unlucky side will have 
wait, wait for this to come up. Ejap, Max, and Morgs facing off against what's put down as Tylux Ma Matrix, Matrix, and Slates. But I think Tylux had to hop off, so Phoebe will be replacing him on that side. And they have ready that they have confirmed here that they're both here. So we should be hopping in very shortly to that game. Kopnik will be taking the blue side, unlucky with the orange. And as I say that, we have got into the game. Just going to have to wait for the two sets of players to join in. But yeah, I think for a prediction for me, I know both these teams, or at least a few players from both these teams, okay? Ejap being quite a high-ranked player, uh, I think she sat around the, I think, 1700 mark last season. Um, change me if I'm wrong. I'm not, I'm not fully sure. That's from what I can remember. I've also been told that Slates is called George, so uh, I'll try and remember that. But um, I think the Kopnik Gaming side won't be able to fully compete with this team if the players I know are around the same rank as their team. I think it will be a 2-0-2 unlucky here. But, you know, we don't know these two teams very well. We'll have to try and, you know, go with the flow here. And it's another best of three all the way till the grand final in the end, which will be a best of five, just because of time constraints. But we're still waiting for both teams to hop in. Um, neither team has joined yet, so... Might be a bit of a slow start going into game number two. But um, while we're waiting, I'll go over the good old... ECC Season 4 starting on the 19th of June, so in four days here. The seeding is pretty much complete. The league tables will be released tomorrow, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. Um, and then if you do want to put a little donation in, go over to Matt Chirino and use the code Collider2 to contribute a free 50 cents to the prize pool for today, but both teams are in. I think we're ready to give them the go. So I'll push that over to them and we can get the upper course to the final going as quick as possible here. So yeah, Slates, Phoebe and Matrix on the blue. Max, Morgs and Ejap on the orange. Best of three, of course, once again. Both teams... Well, not both teams, actually. Unlucky haven't had their in-tournament warm-up, but I'm sure they've played enough ranked, enough games outside of this to get going here. On the other hand, Kopnik Gaming have had the warm-up they need in that game one, which was a 2-1 victory, which means it was close, but the opening goal didn't quite work out for Slate. A bit of a messy play there as Ejap missed the ball. Slate pinching that away with the post in the end. Ejap, trying to get it in the middle. Phoebe out two slates into that corner area. Morgs with the clear. Now Max with the follow. Matrix couldn't quite get the clearance, but Slates is up high, beating out the opposition. And both teams seemingly trying to start quick here, trying to get the quick aerials going to try and beat out the opposition. Phoebe. Pinching it into the centre area. Slates is there to pick it up, but it's pinched away once again. Matrix up high. Maybe a redirect attempt from Slates. The shot was there, but it's wide and weak. Easy to clear in the end. Egypt with that clear out to the left. And similarly a bit ping pong situation here. As both teams are just trying to intensify their plays here and try and get the opening goal. But it's meaning for a bit of a messy game so far. Slates up high, the clear from Ejap. Could it get the second touch though? And now Matrix blocked by Max as well. Counter attack couldn't quite happen though, Phoebe was there to cut it out. And once again, just player to player, opposition to opposition that's not quite settled down yet, two minutes in. Still goalless as well. 
Ejap into the corner, slates up high, trying to get that shot going, didn't quite have enough power once again. Something a lot of teams we've seen today have to work on, and the clearance wasn't there. Onto the post, but follows it in himself. Matrix couldn't quite get it away. Mords with the opening goal of this series, of the game. It took two minutes to do so. With three minutes left. There is always time for Copnick Gaming to get back, but from my prediction of Unlucky taking the 2-0, it looks like they should be able to push on here if it goes to plan for them. Matrix into the corner. Max couldn't get the clear. Morgs out of position because of it. Slates wasn't there to follow up in the end now. Morgs inside. Matrix the only one back. Hat to 50 away. And now Max trying to get that shot from that harsh angle. It was onto the backboard. No follow up in the end. And that pass from Ejap just a bit behind. Maybe a bit of miscommunication there. Morgs edging it in. The 50 into the bottom left. Great control on the ball. Maybe the challenge from the opposition wasn't quite enough. Matrix just having to challenge backwards, not the best position from himself, but Morgs getting his second of the game. And so far, the second of the series as well to put them 2 0 up. And Phoebe's clear wasn't quite enough. It's not quite working out for Kopnik. Their clears aren't there right now. Unlucky, just able to keep progressing, keep pushing, and the pass into Ejap. Sparks another opportunity, but cleared away from Phoebe. Pass back, a bit awkward. Matrix had to move around, turn around the ball and get back. But once again, it's unlucky with the possession, trying to get the backboard read onto that. But it didn't quite work out. Morgs up high, Matrix away down the right-hand side. And now the ball floating into the middle, Phoebe. Out down the center and no one able to pick it up from Kopnik Gaming. And the demo sparks an opportunity to double attempt from Morgs. I'm not sure if that's meant to be a pass or a shot, but it's close to either. And unlucky just trying to style their way through this. Now they've got two only. They feel confident. They feel comfortable. And they're just going to try and enjoy the rest of this game one before game two takes place, which they probably have to switch on a bit more here. Max on the left, demoed by Matrix, and Phoebe couldn't get the shot. It's pinched or 50s away once again. Slates to pick it up and to play that forwards. And now Matrix on the right hand side. Ejap having to track back instead of go for the challenge, but walks with the save in the end. And Ejap trying to play it forward. Phoebe. However, down the left-hand side, no one picking the ball up for a few seconds here. Max does get the touch. Slates over to Matrix onto the backboard. It won't be picked up instantly here. And now Slates once again gets on the backboard. The follow-up from Phoebe was just a bit too slow. And no capitalization could happen there with 30 seconds left. It's a tenth of the game. Kotnik still will find themselves 2-0 down. Unlucky. In control, comfortable here going into the last, but it's late on the right. Ejap into the centre. They want a third here. They want to just try and pile it on late on. Max down the left. Go for the ceiling. Shot opportunity. Slates with the clear down the middle. The follow up. It's up high. Ejap can get there. Phoebe with the clear though. This is going to be dropped down to an unlucky. Well, the team of unlucky. Don't want to make it sound bad there. The team of unlucky. 2-0 victory in game one. They looked very comfortable there. They looked confident and in control. Maybe they can continue this. And looking in chat. Tyler's mentioning Copnic Gaming Aura. They're about C2, C3 team against Unlucky, who are quite high if Egypt's two teammates do revolve around her in terms of ranking. Unlucky having nine shots compared to Copnick Gaming is free. It didn't actually seem much like that early on. Copnick Gaming had a bit of control, had a bit of a stint of pressure, but it didn't follow through enough and they need to try and get going quickly here like 
Ignatian did in game one. They battled back. It didn't quite work out. And the overpowerment just made them lose in the end. But I think the team with a bit higher calibre, such as Copnick Gaming, if they do get goal one, they can push forward. Slate into the middle morphs with that touch away and progressing into the centre. Phoebe with the pinch as well. Max out to the right hand side. It's up high. Slate's pushing forward there. A bit quicker here from the off and they're getting in the opposition's faces. Not allowing much time with the ball. Slate's up high trying to get that redirect down but Max is there in position on the backboard to get the clear and Matrix into the middle. It's cleared but weak but straight to Max. It's a great pass in the end. The one two wasn't quite there and Ejap having to track back hook that away down to the left hand side. Max gets it away in control here. Matrix there in his face once again though and Slates with the shot. Just wasn't on target, wasn't high enough to really become an issue for the opposition. But Phoebe with that clear away, Slates following up once again and the fake from Ejap taking out one of the opposition. They're going to have to be careful here. One that played quite even so far but once again I do feel like unlucky are in control but as I'm saying that Slates gets the boomer from one side of the pitch to the other into the open net as all three players from unlucky caught too far up and there is the opening goal in game two there is a chance for a turnaround here in the series, potentially. Ejap gets it away. Slates can't get the clear, but they have a lot of time here. No real pressure. And as Phoebe gets it over to... Couldn't progress far enough, though, to get the shot. Matrix there in Max's face. And Phoebe up high. Back to Slates. But the follow-up from Morgs leads to an open net opportunity. But Matrix can get back. And the 50 over the bar. Just about works out in their favour. Matrix up high on towards the backboard. Morgs in towards the corner. Slates with the shot. It's an open net. An awkward angle. And it didn't quite work out. And now Slates following through. Phoebe with the 50. No second goal for them yet though. And if they can get a victory here. Maybe. It will be a bit of an upset here. In terms of ranking in the game. But. Slates into the middle. Morgs with the clear, but there's no real follow-up. It's a bit of a gift to back to the opposition clear. Maybe. She'll progress down the right. Ejap. Way and Morgs trying to get that redirect. Didn't quite work out. Going to the middle. It goes. The follow-up attempt could lead to a shot. It does Ejap there to take it away from... it into the middle moves onto the backboard trying to go for the double touch he couldn't get the finish it would have been great if he got the second touch it probably would have led to a goal and a save for opportunity in the end now matrix with the follow-up moves all the way down the left moves progressing it forward here Get it forward, Max. With the follow into the centre and it's bouncing down. Shot from Ejap potentially. But it's cleared away by Matrix and we've up just under 90 seconds left to go. I feel like Kopnik Gaming are going to be a bit on the back foot here. They're going to be blustered with shots, blustered with backboard hits and they're going to have to try and defend here. But Slates with that clear, maybe another goal. Depending from this, it will happen. And with one minute left, Kopnik Gaming are two up here. The countdown. Unlucky need to try and get a goal early on here. Morgs faking one out, trying to flick Slates the other out. And now the double touch attempt onto the backboard. It's an open net, but pinched away. Utilising both of the blue side defenders. Max on the back foot once again. Ejap 
Out and away, back to Maps, back to Egypt. They're trying to play it forwards in the miss from Matrix. The clear onto the post, the follow up from Morgs. And with one goal back, they might have a chance to recover, have a chance to try and get back into this. But a bit of messy play from Kopnik Gaming. Matrix up high, double commit though, they can't be doing this this late on in this bad of a situation. The shot from Max, and now Morgs with the flick in the third round. It's been made in less than 20 seconds. Unlucky. I've just managed to strike here on the, the opposition's poor clears, and with 30 seconds left, they have turned it around just like that. Slates forward. They're going to try and push for a goal regulation here. They feel like they've been robbed of a two goal lead. Phoebe up high. Getting it into the middle. There might be an open net, but EJAP is there in position. Now Morgs. 15. Matrix out the way in EJAP. Shot saved by Phoebe up high. Good calm collect to clear as well to lead on from this. Now Matrix over to Slates. He can try and get past into the middle here. Maybe they can get a goal, but it is cleared down. And overtime looms if Unlucky do manage to get the next goal, the golden goal here. They progress through into the semi-final in the upper bracket. But if Cop and Gaming do get this, they push it to game three in the best of three. So the final game which will take place. They need to try and get their mentality right. They've gone from the 2 up to 2-2 two -two here. They need to... Try and forget about it. Try and switch back to how they did early on in this game, number two. Morgs forward. Slates couldn't get a good clear and Matrix has to turn that away. Falling through as well. It's pinched into the middle area. And Phoebe with the shot. The save away, but it's a double commit. And a chance for a bit of time for the shot. But Morgs straight in the into the opposition's face. And that's something which is really helping out both these teams. Just trying to... Collect a lot of pressure here. Slates away. Max back up high and into the middle it goes. Morgs with the shot. It's cleared away by another double commit in defence though. And Ejap can get the shot. Matrix can't get it. And because of that, the turnaround has taken place. Well played to both the teams. And the prediction did go my way, but Kopnik Gaming put up a great fight. They had... Great play, great stamina in that game, but unlucky. Take that in overtime to make it 2-0. They push in play Eva. Oh no, sorry, they push into play AVX Esports in the winner's semi-final. AVX beating out Ascension and Kronos 2-0. Ending up being 3-0 and 2-0 in the respective games. So we're just waiting for the two lower games in the quarterfinal. So Serenity White versus Ascension. And Shadow Stalkers Esports versus Dream Eaters to see who'll be covering in the semi final. Um, if you do want to look at the bracket, as I think that was Jewett perfectly shows, exclamation mark bracket there. But I think once again, we might go with a small break as Serenity White and Ascension has only been going on for 13 minutes. But Dream Eaters have confirmed they've gone through 2 0 against Shadow Stalkers, 4-0 and 8-2 respectively. So a bit of an overall in game there. And we're going to probably be seeing two quite big powerhouses in the tournament facing off in the semi-final here. That's if Serenity White do manage to get through, but anything can happen there. But once again, we'll be back with you shortly after a small break. Just waiting for that match to finish off. And we'll be seeing you with game letter J in around five minutes' time.
And we're back. Short break happening there, just waiting for the semi final to be ready. It's confirmed Serenity White beat Ascension 2 0, 4 0, and 7 2 in the games. Um, so they will be facing off against Dream Eaters in the winner's semi final, or the second winner's semi final. Of course, the other one being unlucky versus AVX. So. We're gonna have to see what happens here. I'll go through the lineups quickly before we do hop on in. Uh, Serenity White consists of Faded, Will, Sway, and Tobias against the Dream Eater side of DI, Pioneer, Lecoms, and Petty. So, two very good teams. Dream Eaters obviously have kind of overruled this tournament so far, just uh, dominated in all the games they've been in at the moment. So maybe they're the one to watch here. Lecom's obviously being a very good player who I've heard of as well before. And overall the team, yeah, seems to be doing very well as well. But apart from that, while we try and get going here, um, the new Zer ECC season four will be starting on the 19th. And as I said before, the seeding has pretty much been done We'll be waiting for the league tables to be produced tomorrow, we're hoping for. Um, also, if you want, it comes up in chat every so often. You can add to the prize pool here for free yourself by heading over to the Matcherino link down in chat. And you can use the code Collider2 to donate 50 cent for free. Uh, also, if you do want to check out the bracket, Explanation mark bracket as it's being put down a lot anyway. I probably don't need to tell you that, but yeah, it's in the title as well. So we have headed into the match. We're waiting for the two teams to hop on in. Don't know what the full lineups will be as they both consist of four players. But once again, if you missed it, it's down as. Faded will sway into bias against DI, Pioneer, Lecoms, and Petty. Um, there hasn't been any updates so far. In the lower bracket, we've got Shadow Stalkers Esports versus Esther, Ascension versus Ignition, Ascension Kronos versus Lil Rockets, and Copnic Gaming versus Redwater Aqua going on as we speak. And we'll be picking up the lower bracket from the quarterfinal after we head over to the winner final after this. We do have Serenity White hopping into the game. Phased, Sway and Will. We're just waiting for Dream Eaters to hop on in with them. Seems everybody is in. Lecoms, Pioneer and Petty will be facing them. So I'll quickly give them the go. And we can get going with this winner's semi-final matchup. Very interesting one, to say the least. I think for me, I didn't say my prediction. Dream Eaters, I think we'll take it 2-0. It won't be as 
overruling as dominating as the last two have been for them, but it will be a higher scoring match, I believe. Will up high, getting that shot forward, Pioneer having to tra track back to the front post. Sway into the corner, into the centre as well, fades it with the shot. Maybe the opening goal will actually go through and away, but he's onto the post and has been cleared away by Lecoms and another clear by Serenity White. They will be on the defensive foot quite a lot here. Lecoms with an open chance, the shot is down. 30 seconds gone and plays and Dream Eaters have the opening goal 1-0 right now. Lecoms just with that speed to get above the opposition, get it towards the goal. And get that opening goal already and Serenity White instantly below, instantly with that pressure. But Sway can change that here. Onto the back ball, Petty with the clear. Pioneer tracking back into the corner, Will. Onto the back board, into the centre. Lecoms couldn't get the clear and Neve could pioneer the shot. What High and wide, but cleared away by the opposition. That's about sound into the centre. Petty with the 50. Lecoms with a lot of time and space on this left and with the skill and mentality to just get that over the edge dribble here. Way having to be the last man in defence. The clean up factor in Serenity White there. Stopping from going too down early on. Pioneer onto the backboard. The follow up wasn't quite there in time. And Petty with a missed touch there. Phased with a bit of time to get it into the middle, but no one there to follow up. Sway in the end in position, but it's cleared away. Right now, Serenity White with a lot of pressure right now. A lot of play on the ball. And with that flick over, Sway can get second touch. He will make it and get the equaliser here against Dream Eaters. A great delay flick from Sway to get it over Pioneer. Just faking it down low. I think Petty predicted Phaser to get the touch in the end and just wasn't ready for it. Pioneer to the left hand side, Phaser with the clear up high. Will couldn't get the touch but actually faked out the opposition instead. Just allowing for a bit more time on the ball, but right now, Lecom's in the middle, cleared away by Faded and Petty pushing a bit too far forward. Maybe they're trying to just put out their confidence and try and push forward for another goal, but they need to be careful here. Dream Eaters, they need to make sure they balance out their attack and defence. And as we nearly got put into a rule one situation there, which didn't quite happen. We've got Serenity White on the defence and just having to try and get the clears away right now. Away on the right, taking it under one, trying to get it into the middle, but Pioneer was there to cut it out. Good read from him. And Petty going towards the goal with the shot wheel with the clear, and it's into the middle. And Lecom's there to retake the lead. Four shots and two goals for him. Get the second of this game for himself and for Dream Eater. Halfway mark is marked by sensible kick kickoff here. Faded with a pass out to Will. Lecoms is there to cut it out again, and you can see that drama. No, not drama. Sorry, Dream Eaters rotation is actually quite solid there. Always there in defence to try and cut it out. Maybe the first goal is just a bit of mechanical error, and maybe the second here as well is clear. Faded. Getting it away though, Lecoms out on the right hand side and into the centre it goes, pitched down and Pioneer with the follow up, the shot, Fazed couldn't make it but Lecoms' shot wasn't quite there as well. Petty, down low into the centre, not quite the greatest of passes as it was a bit lacklustre, straight to Will in the end. The Pioneer's clear, straight to Lecoms, a great pass in the end back, Pioneer can get the shot, it's over the opposition. I think that's sway in defence, just a bit too slow to that. Maybe not as phased. My apologies there, but Pioneer nonetheless with the speed to get the last touch into the back of the net. Sway. High Lecoms out. A great pass to Petty, and they're trying to get a three man passing play here, but Pioneer just caught a bit too far central, a bit too close to the pass. But Lecoms with that finish. 
And earlier on, after the equaliser from Serenity White, it looked like they were in with a chance. But right now, Dream Eaters have set up the plays, set up the pressure. And right now, 4-1 for them. Domination as has been the story of the day for them. But they need to try and keep it going here. Serenity White being the probably toughest opposition they've faced today. They have handled it really well so far. And another shot going for Will. Caught too far. I think the demo didn't help. And 5-1 on the score line here. One minute left. Pioneer. Just a simple clearance into the back of the empty net. Will. Trying to get it into the middle. Sway out to the right. Faded. With the clearance, but Petty there once again, and Sway can get the read on that. Pioneer pushing forward, trying to push for a sixth here. Sway with the clear. Right now, nine shots to Dream Eaters, four to Serenity White. Lecombs with six of his team's shots as well. Faded can't get the clear. Sway taking it slowly. They're going to want to not concede anymore. They're going to want to try and establish a bit of control in the series after this. And Sway with that redirect attempt. Not quite a good enough touch on that, though. And Lekons to Petty. The touch up high. Will with the clearance and... Faded. Pushing forward even more to Sway. Pioneer touching up high. Great control on that ball. And again, the flip reset over as well. Faded caught behind. Caught with his back to the ball. He was a bit confused of what was happening there. This clock counts down here. Marks the end of game one and the end of real panic and really disappointment here from Serenity White. They did put up a good fight early on. It was just left behind in the second half. Once again for them, if they can get goal number one or two, and try not to go too far behind early on, they have a good chance. Their mechanics are great. Their speed is able to be kept up with Dream Eaters and maybe if they just get a bit more control, a bit more communication and a bit more positioning here for them, I believe they will have a good chance of getting at least a closer game, if not a potential win. Both teams in for game number two here. Best of three, of course, again. This will be very intense as Dream Eaters are ahead. Serenity White needs to try and get this win here. If they don't, they're down into the lower bracket. And Dream Eaters progress forward. Lecom's up high. Should we get that redirect? Sway is there. Just pressuring that shot, working out well as well. Petty forward. Will. With a great awkward clear away. Managing to counteract the position of himself and the ball. Faded with pass Petty there to pick it up though and with low boost can't do much with it apart from a soft block there. I think Lecombs has had a bit of a disconnection issue. I'm not sure what's happened there. I hope everything's okay for him. Faded with the goal. Just checking the chat. Lecombs did lose connection. I'm not sure what we shall do about this. But it seems like they're going to play on. 1 0 to Serenity White. Will into the corner. Trying to get that pre flip forward into the ball once again. And now it's a 2v3. They have their actual chance here to get a goal. And they will get the. As a 2. Petty and Pioneer have got it back to 1 1. And these are times where Serenity really need to be keeping focus. They can't push forward. They can't get too full of themselves in this game. They were one goal up. Lecon's lost connection. And they did manage to concede here. That's into the middle. Sway on the end of it. Pioneer not able to get a touch on that. But playing it forward in the 2v3 situation again. They're pressuring Serenity White well. 
Well, Petty up high, that commit from Pioneer a bit risky as the final man. And Faded will push forward into that empty net. 90 seconds played, Lecom still hasn't returned. Serenity still pushing on, only one goal up though. And Petty and Pioneer have showed us they can take this. They just can't overcommit as they did for that second goal. And Pioneer pinching it into the middle of an empty net. It's a bit hard for Petty to try and push. Had to try and read that play. It didn't quite work out though. Now into the fence. A touch up high. He's going to try and take this away from Sway. But double commit leads to an empty net. Bouncing down. He couldn't read either. But the ceiling save. The inside of the goal save. Able to get the clear away. Faded. Onto the right hand side, Will able to take, will try and take this away. Now faded down the right, Pioneer tracking back here to get that clear. And now it's into the middle, bouncing down this way. And to clear it actually back to his own half. He didn't quite get the touch he wanted. And with Serenity on the defensive foot here, they need to try and get the clear, which they do. And there's another empty net if he can get the finish, but faded just pinch away. Went too far across the field and Lecom still isn't back in the game. I'm not sure what's happened with him. And with the shot from Faded, the 50 away from Pioneer was met. And Pinch Wheel flying back up high now. With a lot of time on the ball, a flip reset. Attempt didn't quite work out. Now into the middle. It's going a bit wide and Pioneer out. Wheel into the middle, sway up high and Faded trying to get the. Shot on, but it's cleared away. Will over to Faded. He's tracking back there, 2 1 up. They just need to try and defend a bit here. Yeah, especially against the two players. 2v3 is really hard to attack if all three are at the back as well. Pioneer. Up to the left, Faded. Up high, but Petty is there to meet it. Will was there and. Actually took it away from his teammate, who may have had a bit of a better clear, but it worked out nonetheless. But still, 90 seconds left in this game, and Lecoms hasn't returned. With Will on the right, trying to cut it inside. Pioneer was there to meet it, but now a half-open net rises. A shot a bit high, and now Pioneer with an opportunity. Demoing sway the process. Petty with the follow, and Will was quick there to meet it. Now up high, Pioneer needs to get the clear, which he does perfectly. One minute left. We've had a 2v3 for around three minutes here. And still, Serenity haven't made it free, but on the other hand, Petty with the goal, with the equaliser, a great control, taking it past Sway. And Lecoms has returned for the 3v3 as well. What a control to get that in. Great play. That was a humiliation for the defence and Serenity and Pet. The turnaround. 2v3 for three minutes in this game. And still, they have the lead going into the final 45 seconds. Pioneer. Over to the left, faded up high. Serenity with the time to get the goal back to push it to overtime. The Pioneer there to get the redirect and Petty back into the centre, faded. Caught awkwardly, Lecom's there on it. With his second touch since he did return in the 30 seconds, he gets the goal to probably seal the deal here with 30 seconds left. Now Sway with control, a bit of time as well, but Pioneer pre-jumping that out. Sway trying to flick it inside. No real power on that, Lecoms getting beaten to it by Will. Does take it up high, they want a goal soon if they have a chance. It's a slim chance as of the moment, and Sway can get the goal here down off the bar. And there's nine seconds for Serenity White to get it from kickoff to the back of the net. 
It is possible, but very difficult for them. Lekop is forward. Will has to get the touch. Four seconds left. They're going to need to keep the ball up here. Faded does that, but oh, Petty's going to keep it up. I thought that was going to land where it does now. And Dream Eaters managed to get that second victory to take them through to the winner's final here. It's actually a great performance from them, Petty and Pioneer, especially when Lekons did disconnect here. Serenity White, eight shots for the opposition, six. They had the chances, they just didn't quite take them. And Dream Eaters are here next up to face the winner of Unlucky versus AVX Esports, which we're just waiting on as well. But we'll go to the lower bracket while we have time. Shadow Stalkers and Esther are still playing on here. Ascension beating Ignition Esports 2-0. Ignition therefore being knocked out of the tournament completely. Ascension Kronos as well going through against Lua Rockets. Actually haven't looked who is playing for Lua Rockets here. I'll just check that out quickly. Barty, Timbo and Yami have been knocked out of Lua Rockets. So both Ascension teams playing on here down in the lower bracket. They're continuing their org forward and then Copnick Gaming getting knocked out 2-0 by Redwater Aqua as well so Copnick Gaming Lil Rockets and Ignition have all been knocked out here but I think while we wait for the other game in the semi-final Unlucky vs AVX to finish we'll head over to a short break it shouldn't be long 20 minutes has been played already but yeah we'll be back with you shortly for the winners final to see who will be the first team into the grand final here.
And we are back. The winner's final is here. Ready? Unlucky will face Dream Eaters to see who will be the first team into that grand final. And Unlucky beating out AVX 2-1 in the semi-final. The games were 4-1, 0 one and 3 0 respectively. So both teams we've seen already. Pretty much covered most of the teams actually right now. But next game after this will be the AVX game in the losers' quarter, where they'll face either Ascension, Shadow Stalkers, or S Fed. But back on to this game. So Unlucky versus Dream Eaters. The last time we saw Unlucky was against Copnic Gaming in the winners' quarter final where it's 2-0 and 3-2 and then I think there they didn't look the greatest that they had their moments they had good opportunities but they had a few whiffs here and there and especially against a team of this caliber against dream eaters we have to really predict that dream eaters will go ahead with this and being the team they are they'll be able to really capitalise on the issues and they'll be able to score from it often with their speed. So of course here once again it will be Ejap Max and Morgs versus I'm guessing Pioneer Lekon Hetty again. DI is there to be utilised if needed. But once again before the match for those involved in ECC, for those who of course uh Sign-ups have closed now, and we're nearly done with the seeding for Season 4. Just waiting for it to be fully complete, and the league table should be out on display for you tomorrow. As well, as it keeps coming up in chat, um, if you do want to contribute to the prize pool a bit for free, head over to Matcharino. The link should be popping up in chat here and there. And use the code Collider2 to donate a free 50 cents to the prize pool. Nonetheless, we're just going to have to wait for Unlucky, I believe it is, to ready it up, check in for this game. Which I hope will happen soon enough. Yeah, I think for me, Dream Eaters will win this 2-0 again. They managed to nearly beat out Serenity White fully with a 2v3. So if they can do that, they can pretty much do anything here in terms of that. We're still in a wait for Unlucky to ready up. Try and get onto this, but those in chat, what are your predictions? Unlucky versus Dream Eaters. I'm going to see what people in chat have to say. Obviously, a best of three again. So it'll be quite intense games, quite quick games. They have to get off the bat really early, but pretty much all down to that game one. Samurai predicting Dream Eaters win. And don't know how to say that name, KO71 as well. Default as well, going for that as well. So there's a lot of expectation on them, but on the other hand, unlucky, can play a bit more relaxed. Um, being the lower team, they can just go out and join themselves, push for that win. And if they do, it'll be a great turnaround. But we've all predicting unlucky for random reasons as well. I don't know how long... ...into the game soon. But still right now, Shadow Stalkers versus Estead going on around an Ascension Kronos versus Redwater Aqua going on in losers round two. We are hopping in to the game now. And Dream Eaters in straight away as well. They want to 
get going as quick as possible on the bat of their last victory. Just waiting for Unlucky to hop in as well. Quick drink there. Throat going a bit sore. But pushing into the winner's final here. As I said before, whoever takes this will be the first into the grand final. They will have a bit of a wait, though, of maybe around an hour, an hour and a half, just to wait for the loser's final to progress and finish as well. As we're currently in loser's round two, so we've got three more rounds left to go before the grand final after this, which we'll be covering. So yeah, this is the final match, which we are going to cover from the winner's bracket for now, until that grand final. From here, we'll be covering the loser's quarterfinal game T, and then the loser's semi-final and the loser's final as well. Philly, oh, what's happening here? Guess we just have to leave it a little bit. Wait for Unlucky to hop in. But of course, both these teams we've seen before. Dream Ethers are getting that domination victory last time out. Unlucky, not so much, but they did convincingly win in the end with a few wins here and there. So right now, all the predictions, apart from one, going in Dream Eater's favour. Of course, the team of Lecoms, Petty and Pioneer will be facing Ejap. Need to get this up again. Ejap, Morgs and... Loads, Ejap, Morgs and Max in this game. Which will hopefully be starting very soon. Yeah, once again, might as well go over it here. Match Renio, the link is in the chat every so often. If you do want to contribute, free 50 cents to the prize pool each for today's tournament. And also, ECC season four starting off on the 14th of June. So in around four days, or in four days, sorry, not around. And the league table should be produced shortly. Or tomorrow. I don't know why I said shortly there. They should be out tomorrow for you to see. Just waiting for the final bits and seeding to be done. Just to work out what will happen. Still unlucky or not in. I'm not too sure what's happening here. Not sure if it would be good to pop the message to see what's going on. Because we haven't had an update about it yet. Um, guessing they haven't said anything in the tournament chat either. So, I'm not too sure what's going on with them. 
has been told that they should be joining soon. I'm hoping that will happen as quick as possible, as uh, the team of Dream Eaters have been waiting for quite a while here for the opposition. Right now, Shadow Stalker's Estad game has been confirmed. Shadow Stalker's winning 2-1 here to progress into round two of the lower bracket. Losers round two. They won 4-2, lost 2-3, or lost 3-2, and then won 5-4. So very close games. Estad must have put up a very good fight. They have been the fourth team to be eliminated here. Still waiting. Ejap has joined in. We've got two of the unlucky side in and all three are finally in here. So we can get going with game one of the fourth game we're going to stream here. I got that right. I did. My counting went well. Going to give them the go and we should get this winner's final going as quick as possible here. All down to see who will be the first team in round final. Round final being the only best of five series in the tournament. And Max with the early shot onto the post. Walks with the follow up onto the backboard again. And an early start from Unlucky. There wasn't a goal to show for it though, and they need to keep going. Pioneer single handedly getting that away round all three of the opposition. Alekoms into the middle. Max up high. Morgz was thinking about taking it, but the communication was good. And the clearance away from the halfway mark was made. Ejap up high, didn't get touch on that. Morgz with the shot to the backboard. Lekoms was there in position. Petty over to the right with the follow-up. Wasn't quite there as Ejap was there to cut that out. Now Petty towards the backboard. Max having to get that clear away and... Lekoms following in towards that centre area, and there's a all one situation brought out by Lekoms in the end. Questionable happening from that position. Now Petty into middle, Lekoms couldn't get the shot on. Pioneer back into to the middle to Lekoms, who gets it away to the right, just stopping the opposition's clear early on. Now Petty with the shot, Morgz away, and the clearance straight down the centre again, straight to Lekoms. Now Morgz with the shot past Pioneer. And Unlucky have the opening goal in this series. They have the advantage to try and push into the grand final. But there is at least eight minutes or nine minutes left overall in this series for a turnaround. And with the caliber of team of Dream Eaters, they should be able to do this. Lekoms in the middle to Petty, gets the touch just over the opposition, and now Pioneer up high, trying to get it into the centre, and Max with the clearance again. Just not allowing any time for Dreamy to attack, they're always there. The defensive pressure is great to see right now, but Dream Eater's passing plays, if really cleans off, just perfected here, they could really dominate in the attack. I just toy with the opposition, but they just need to fix it at the moment. Bit of a work in progress for them. Pioneer, out to Petty. Trying to get it into the middle, but instead it manages to find itself down at the line. It's on the defence as the ball's floated in. Morgz with the clear and Max pushing it even further away. And as we reach the halfway mark, we have Unlucky in the lead here against the powerhouse of this competition of Dream Meeting. Probably 90% of the people here in chat overall, me included, expecting a Dream Eaters win. They are still pushing forward, but being one goal down, they need the goal soon. So now onto the backboard down. Morgan's trying to get the shots back out, and Ejap with the shot. If that was. The mark may have made the goal. Lekoms is just a bit caught out, but now up the other end. And all the hard work there 
from Unlucky. It's just been turned around in an instant. One all here with two minutes left. They just didn't balance out well enough. They got a bit carried away and pushed forward. It's now floating across. Petty with the clear away. Bijap back up the other end and the shot going in towards the net. Petty having to hook back as no one was fully and stably in goal. And Morgus's shot attempt went behind straight to Ejap who gets the clear back up. The redirect wasn't there. The full up was though and now Max's shot saved by Lecom's a diving save across. And Morgus up high. Max into the middle. Passing play of their own from Unlucky. They're trying to counter play Dream Eater so far. Max with the shot forward. Petty having to hook it away off his own car. A bit of a close one from him, but it worked out in the end. Pioneer forward Petty onto the backboard and out. Lecom's his shot into the net. A great finish. Just taking his time to recognise the play, recognise the bump in goal. Right now. Dream Eaters retake, well not retake, they take the lead for the first time. Now Pesty once again forward and empty net for Lecom to try and seal the deal. But it was cleared away by Max, it was a good finish. An attempt, a good shot attempt, sorry. But the real calm clearance was there. But now pinch forward, Max having to track back Lecom's there, a bit unlucky. From the opposition, that wasn't intended to be a pun. But Zmorgs knocked it back. Max couldn't recover, and Lecom's to make it 3-1 here. Fake kickoff here from Unlucky. And Max up high to try and get the redirect. What a shot into the back of the net. And it's back to a one goal difference here. Great cherry pick in the end, a great well worked routine from the fake kickoff. Now, with 30 seconds left to go, they have the time. Ejap into the middle. Morgs trying to get the shot, it's just wide, and Ejap with the touch again, taking away Pioneer from the play. Morgs up high. Lecom's with the clear and now all three unlucky players just kept forward, kept up the field, trying to get the goal. And pass into middle, Ejap with the clear, Max up high. He's bounced out, the shot in, cleared away by Petty. And that was a real chance, there's still time though. But with the clearance from Lecom's, it has to be kept up. And it will be awkward. So it's about to touch the ground, potentially Petty there to seal the deal. And a very close game one. Dream Eaters managed to make it their first of the series. A free two game, a five goal game. Unlucky have been playing well. They put up a great fight in game one. They have to continue it into game two. That opening goal may have helped them. If so, they need it here again. Game two underway. If Dream Eaters do get one more victory, they are through to the grand final. This countdown is here. It's five minutes. Four unlucky to recover. Pioneer into the middle. Petty with the shot early on. Max with the clearance zone. Morgs up high down into the net. Pioneer hooking it away and that was nearly an opener from Unlucky once again. Didn't quite work out though. Lecom's into the middle. Cleared away by Max and the flop is there but Pioneer was there to cut it out instead. Into the middle. Cleared away by 
for a teammate, you jack. Now bouncing into the middle, EJ up, up high. She couldn't quite get it into the middle. As Petty clears it down the left. Walks has to be there to get it away and no real chances at, e at either end right now. Two shots from Unlucky, zero from Dream Eaters early on, one minute played. Well, right now, it's looking like it could go anywhere, but it's a bit messier than game one. As both teams are gifting possession to each other at regular opportunities, but maybe this will change here. Petty with control. Max said, cut it out, and the shot coming in won't find the net. Cleared away by Pioneer, and right now, Petty up high up the other end to try and get a counter attack on. Alicom's on the back wall, Morgan's going to get a touch, Max there with the clearance though. Lecom's is shot, near, or pass nearly turning into a shot, but Petty was there to finish it. And Dream Eaters... With the lead here, 1-0, with 90 seconds played. Up high here onto the back ball, Pioneer there to try and beat it, but with a lack of boost. It was a bit awkward for him. Max in towards the corner, Lecom's up high, a great controlled play to get it back into the centre. A bit awkward for the opposition too. But now into the middle, Pioneer back onto the left hand side. Just moving the ball back and forth to try and confuse the opposition. Petty over e and Double commit from Dream Eaters wasn't the best for Worked out in the end. The move from Lecom's on EJAP. There's a bit of space for Dream Eaters to push forward. It's pinched up high. EJAP with the clearance though. As the opposition just trying to get forward a bit quickly there. Pioneer pinching it away in the end. Off the shot, the redirect forward. From Ejap, it will find the net. A great play from her. Just to get that clearance and then that quick backflip forward. As Petty wasn't quite back enough to get the clearance with half the game gone. We're back at an equal game at the moment. Lecom's onto the backboard. There's a chance for a go-ahead goal straight away here. But Morgs. But with time, Lecom's to cut it out though from behind. Max in towards the centre, Morgs with the shot! And the turnaround has happened, but with two minutes left. There is well and truly enough time for Dream Eaters to get back, but... The six shots from Unlucky, double that of Dream Eaters, and just help them push forward. Help to keep the pressure on. Petty over to the left, Ejap in towards the centre and up high it goes, a shot wasn't there but an open net, four Morgs it will hit the bar and go down and as close as you like Morgs just puts it into the back of the net, a two goal lead now, four unlucky and I thought he was going to whiff that, put it over or something but it bounced down well into the net with two minutes left, it's a bit more comfortable for them. Petty up high, pinch with Pioneer with Max clearing it away. They have to try and keep possession here, try and keep calm as the real pressure is going to happen here from Dream Eater. They're going to want to take it here in game two rather than give the opposition a chance. Petty going forward, pinching it into the centre and Lecom's into the middle. Pioneer with a great redirect, Ejap off the backboard though to get it away from the goal. And into the last 90 seconds here. There is enough time, but right now, unlucky seem in control. Petty going forward though. Lecons progressing even further, and there's a spell of domination coming. You sense it here. Once again, Dream. Oh, sorry. Once again, unlucky have been in control so far. They should be able to keep going here. Be a bit disappointing if they let it slip with a minute left to go with that we have now. Lecoms. Gonna pinch that down with the ground, Max. Out into the centre. Now, 
going forward even further. Another goal from Unlucky will seal the deal here in game number two. Walks up high. Lecoms with the clearance out to Petty and the redirect does go forward. Pioneer going to flick forward though to get there. Now into the middle. Walks couldn't quite get the shot. Pioneer left in the 1v1 situation against Ejap here. Couldn't quite get the demo in time as often, or his teammate couldn't. I think it was Lecoms pushing forward for that, but Pioneer with the flick, Morgs away. With 15 seconds left, it looks like Unlucky have controlled this game well enough to take it into the game three of the best of three. With the closest game so far. We'll see who will make the grand final as it bounces down. Ejap couldn't get it down onto the ground and Petty will try and get one here, which he does 3-2 in the end. Right now, looking Going to need a tune -up after that. good from Unlucky. They did play well, they played with dominance in the first half. It just meant they had to defend in the second, which they did well. They kept the play up. Three meters just need to try and get the clearances away a bit earlier, I believe, and try and push forward with a bit more dominance, a bit more pressure. It's unlucky they just had a bit too much time to get away here. As we push, hopefully, into game three here. Whoever wins this gets into the grand final, the first team. Not saying that the loser of this can't get into it, which they can, but it'll be a simple way through if they do here. The countdown here, game three, underway. Pioneer with quick start, redirect onto the back ball. Petty can't get the finish down. Maybe not enough boost. Maybe it's just a bit of lack of control on the car. And now Morgz up high. Let's get the clearance dropped down. Morgz there with the clearance away from Pioneer's touch. And Lecoms up high. Go for the shot, beating out the opposition. And there's the pressure, there's the speed I was talking about. They need to keep it up. Morgz caught behind. Not turning quick enough. 20 seconds gone, Dream Eaters with the lead. Morgz into the middle, Lecoms back into Pioneer who tries to get the shot, Max with the clear out left, Petty. And Pioneer combining to get it into the centre but it's just a bit too weak. And Petty going for the double touch, can he get the second, he can't, Morg clear. That looked destined for a great goal, but didn't quite happen. Now Lecom's playing it forward. He jumped with a pinch with her own crossbar to get it away. And the double commit on the clear. Working out fine in the end. Max is the middle. E Jack trying to get the shot, but still 1 0 for Dream Eaters. That's just over one minute. Lecom's over to the left, Pioneer. Both ballers left from Petty and now Pioneer with 12 boost. Can he control it enough? Yes, he playing it slow, faking out the opposition in goal. And Dream Eaters do have a two goal lead here. Cleared away by Lecoms and walks with the pinch in the middle. Ejap with the shot attempt didn't quite work out and the pressure is still up going forward but fizzled away as Dream Eaters try and push forward again. Morgso up the other end, an open net, no boost to try and hook around that ball, try and get that shot going and right now Dream Eaters seem in control again. They almost left it a bit too much to the position of unlucky in game two. 
They seem to learn from their mistakes. They seem to have learnt their lesson. They're now pushing forward with confidence, with pressure. And now another one from Lecom, second of the game. His team's thirds and... Morg's just pushing forward a bit too quick to try and cut that out. Lecom is forward. Max into the middle. Pioneer out to the right. Eja off the backboard into the centre. The follow up wasn't quite there. The Pioneer forwards onto the backboard. The follow up. Can he get the three? Yes, he can. A great angle from Petty. Just to put it down into the net with half the game gone. It's 4 0 to Dream Eaters. They're playing great here. So they're taking out the opposition, taking them out of their comfort zone, and they're really looking like they want this grand final place. But Morgs to try and turn it pioneer with the own. A bit unfortunate for him as he reads it off his own bar. Maybe there is a slim chance of a comeback opportunity, but. Right now, Dream Eater's playing it too well. Does seem like they will let that slip. Petty to the backboard pass to himself. And now Lecom's with the follow to the middle again. And Pioneer with the speed. You can just see every touch is won by Dream Eater. Lecom with that shot to make it 5-1. A four-goal difference again. A great finish over Morks from that harsh angle. Now Egypt away down the centre. Morgs with the touch. Maybe another one back. Lecom's there on the line. Off his own post to get it away though. Oh, pushing it forward with Dream Eaters again. Maybe pushing for a sixth or seventh. But right now Morgs pushing forward. Petty there to cut it out early on. And it was that clear as well. It's strong forward. Lecom's trying to follow up off that post hit. He does read it. And it's 6-1 here. In the winners, winners final as well. It's pure domination. As I said time and time again, the powerhouse of the tour. Actually looks like they'll take the whole thing. Maybe another here to make seven. Make it the Brazil, but it hasn't quite happened just yet. Lecom's playing it down. Morgs away. Pioneer out to the right as well, and into the centre it goes. Pioneer over to Lecoms. Oh, the redirect from Egypt nearly into her own net, off the bar instead. That's cleared out. Petty onto the backboard, trying to get the second touch. It's a great angle. Max nearly playing that into his own net. I'm not sure what happens in Petty with the fake. Actual toying with the opposition. Ejap went flying and the Brazil has been made. 7 1 with one minute left. Dream Eaters will be your grand finalist, your first grand finalist of the day. It's just now down to see who will join them there. Max out to the left. High it goes, but Pioneer pushing forward with Lecoms. They're going to try and get an eighth. Petty with the shot, it's down off the bar, just past the close as well. Try to get that shot delayed, flick forward. Off the backboard it goes, Lecom's over to the right. Max over the cross, Petty able to get it cleared away though. Now Morgz out, Lecom's forward into the centre, maybe Nate is incoming. As it bounces off the backboard, Pioneer. Bit caught out by that. It's gonna stick at 7 1 for now. Petty into the middle. Walks there to meet it, but Lecoms is there first. As we bounce it down to the final seconds, it's 
Dream Eaters, who will be your first grand finalist here in Collider Cup number two. And right now, Unlucky will be pushing it down to the lower bracket. Losers final, where they'll meet either Red Water Aqua or AVX or Shadow Stalkers Esports or Ascension. As Red Water Aqua, your first loser semi finalist after beating out Serenity White 2 0. That ended up being 3 1 and 6 3 to them. Well, it seems like Kurz, Shut Your Waffle, and Jaguar are actually performing so well at the moment. Serenity White, I thought, would be a great contender against Dream Meters, but it seems to have not fully worked out for them. But for everyone rooting for Dream Eaters and Dream Eaters, oh, there's going to be a bit of a breakdown, maybe about an hour until we do feature them again in the grand final. We've got three rounds to cover. The first round we'll cover is the winner's semi-final, AVX. Or the loser's semi-final. Loser's quarter-final, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. It's all fine. The loser's quarter-final between AVX and either Shadow Stalkers Esports or Ascension. So while we wait for that to finish off, we will head over to a quick break once again of a few minutes. We'll see you soon for the loser's quarter final. Okay. Okay, so let me uh, change uh, back. Wait, I think, are we going to continue off here? We're just going to continue? Okay. So, I've had word that Shadow Stalkers have reported. They did win, but it hasn't come through fully for us yet. There we go, 2-1 to them against Ascension. So they'll be facing AVX shortly now. So we don't have to take a little break. Um, so yeah, AVX versus Shadow Stalkers. We haven't the e um, AVX with a 1-1 one -one record. Shadow Stalkers 2-1 right now. Samurai, Thomas, Oggy and Creed facing off against Niptrox, Freddy and Ked. So a very interesting match. Up ahead for you. Once again, it's a loser's quarter final, which we'll be featuring here. And that, of course, means Ascension are out. You're 15 to be eliminated, along with Ascension Kronos as well, Kronos. So both Ascension teams in their org out of the tournament at the moment. Take a quick drink quickly while we wait for this. But once again, before this starts, we have um, to cover the ECC season four start date starting on the 19th of June. And we'll have the league tables out hopefully tomorrow on view. Um, along with that, it's just waiting for the seeding to finish off and just to get going with the final few teams. But as well as that, if you want to contribute to the prize pool today you can head over to match radio to donate a free 50 cents to just help out you the team who gets the victory here we're just waiting for shadow stalkers to ready up check in here and we should be going into this game Just waiting for Shadow Stalkers to ready up. And we should be getting into the loser's quarter shortly.
But of course, Shadow Stalkers, as I said, win 1 2 1 against Ascension in losers round two. Losing 2 1 and then winning 3 1 and get through to where they are now. On the other hand, on the other side as well, we had Redwater Aqua actually taking a real lower bracket. They lost to Dream Eater 6 1 and 5 2 in the upper bracket before beating Kopnik Gaming. Um, 2 1 and 3 0. And then let me look at this in a sec when it loads. Ascension Kronos. Uh, 2 0 as well. 2 0 and 6 2. Then, as I said before, they beat out Serenity White. 3 1 and 6 3. Still at the moment, Shadow Stalkers are yet to check in for this game. Yet to ready up for us. Yeah, as we see down below, if you do want to have a quick look at the bracket and how it's forming out, look a bit more live, or look at a live situation of it. Or if you missed anything, you can head over exclamation mark bracket and click the link there. Um, also, we have... What's the other one? We also have... Sorry, we also have the match radio popping up every so often as well. Something else going on. Just going to have to try and wait it out for a bit again. Hopefully it won't take too long. I don't know. I don't know if it's a 5 minute or 10 minute check-in gap. It's a 10. 10 minute check-in gap, says the legend Timmy, who is once again behind the scenes doing all the graphical work for They do have around five minutes left. Yeah, I think while we wait for this, we will go on a quick break. I'm not what's going on. It seemed like Shadow Stalkers took a while to re up. Oh, to confirm their results too. So I can have a bit of water in this as well. Get a bit more prepared for this game. So we'll be back with you, hopefully in five minutes, for the next game coming up. Both teams about to get into the game, get going for this lower bracket quarter final. AVX Esports versus the Shadow Stalkers. AVX actually last time out losing to Unlucky 2 1. Shadow Stalkers with the win in their last game, maybe with a bit more confidence going into this. Of course, AVX have actually had. Or, no, sorry, uh, where, where am I going? AVX, sorry, have nearly had a one hour break here. So, might be a bit harsh for them going into this. But both teams pretty solid going into this game. And 
really, who knows where this will go? I think it'll be close. I think it'll be 2 1 to Shadow Stalker Esports. Um, I just think, you know, after their win, after their quality they've got as well, as their confidence is high, they should be able to really push forward and get this victory here and meet Redwater Aqua in the losing semi final. After that, we'll see who faces Unlucky to see who faces Dream Eaters in the grand final. Bit of a mouthful to say there. We're just waiting for the players to get into the game now. Hopefully, this isn't too delayed either. Pipe there predicting 2-1 to AVX. Very interesting. Complete opposite to what I said. Yeah, also, anyone in chat, if you want to guess as well, a lot of people, well, in chat and who follow ECC know both of these. So, have a... Have a guess, have a go of who you think will win. Turn or Shadow Stalker says Weevil. So very mixed views so far. We're still waiting for the teams to get in. Once again, Samurai, Thomas, and Oggy. I believe Creed isn't playing from what he said earlier. I'm not sure if I got that wrong. Against Niptrox, Freddy, and Ked. Two, what well, I believe, two quite even teams. Hopefully we can get this going as quick as possible for you. We don't want to keep you away for that long again, as we had a bit of a wait in the last game as well. Course, stream eaters will have a bit of a break as well here, which might affect their gameplay. It's predicted to begin at 5 55 pm DST European time, so that's just under an hour here. However, this game starting now has started 20 minutes late, so we might be a bit behind. We're just resetting up the lobby. Okay, we've got the lobby back up. Hopefully the players can hop in as soon as possible to get this game going. We've got Ked, Niptrot, and Cordai in. I just realised I haven't actually said who's replacing who, because there's a few people. Yeah, Cordai is standing in for Freddy, so my apologies sir. I forgot to read that out. And uh, Lee was meant to be standing in for Thomas as well for AVX, but Thomas seems to have got back in here. Yeah, we're ready for the game. Best of three once again. Giving them the go and they should be getting in here. Shadow Stalkers with Cordai, Cordai, I believe that is. Ked and Niptrox against Oggy, Samurai and Thomas. So I'll see how and who the first goal goes to and how the first game ends up here. Let's see what will happen later on. Cordai. For Shadow Stalkers taking it away. Thomas. Just flipping back in towards that, into middle to Samurai, gets a play onto the backboard, an open net for Oggy. He does manage to take it, no one back. And Oggy with the first goal. 15 seconds in, AVX does get it. Right now, AVX, good lead early on, they got the speed going quickly, they punished the opposition. If they can continue this, 
look like they have to push forward and get victory in game one at least. Samurai playing it onto the backboards. Thomas actually clearing it away for the opposition. It didn't work out how wished for. Now Cordai up high. Double commit from AVX gets it clear though. Now Keds into the middle. Nip trots away. Not Oggy. At the back, Cordai into the middle. There's enough time for Thomas to maybe get there. Not quite as Keds manages to cut it out. And Samurai wasn't able to go for the ball until late. Thomas doesn't get it clear though. Oggy out and away. Thomas back down the flank side. And Cordai shot there into an empty net. No challenge on him. And Shadow Stalker's back. That's it. Back with the equalizer. One all here. On the score line. One minute played. Thomas with control. Trying to get the lead once again. Trying to force it into the back of the net. Which he does perfectly. The clearance wasn't there. Yeah, the dribble was good. He just pinches it down with Nip Trucks. And Keds couldn't get the clearance. It booms it into the back of the net. Back of his own net, of course. And Shadow Stalkers find themselves one back down again. And Thomas's shot makes it free. Samurai to. You know, as some people would say, secure it. Just that final touch from Samurai to make it free. 3 1 here. The defences aren't that strong, a lot of getaway goals from both of these teams and probably be seeing a few more as they try and sort out their defences. Head going forward Samurai with the clear. Thomas couldn't get touched but Samurai could follow forward on that. Now Kodai with the clear. Thomas there once again into the middle, a shot attempt could be there but it's cleared away and Oggy really nice calmly takes it back quite smartly as well. Cordo into the middle. Trying to get the double touch off the backboard. Didn't happen there though. There's still two goals down. Three minutes left to go. There's enough time to do something about this. As Thomas gets it out to the left. Just bounced down. But Nip Truck still going forward for this. Cordo with the miss. Keds couldn't get back either. Now an open net for Samurai. And it's 4 1 for AVX. Running away with this here. Kick off straight back to Thomas here. Tries to get a touch over Cordai. It's a good block in the end though. Samurai out to the left. Nip trucks back inside. And Oggy over to Samurai. The shot attempt going in from the pass didn't quite work out. Now Nip trucks going to get a touch. But he does get it away in the end. Cordai following it forward. Clearance away. And Thomas there to pick it up. Play it over to the left. Ball control if they make a fifth, it should seal the deal here if they do not allow if they do not allow Shadow Sulkins to turn it around and just playing a bit more calm now. They know they don't need another goal. They can just relax a bit now with two minutes left. But it's only three goals that Shadow Sulkins do need to score to get back. As it goes into the middle of Samurai. Let's try to get it away. Keds with the follow up. Cleared away on the line by Samurai. And the clearance is there, but Oggy was a second. The redirect attempt wasn't quite happening as Cordai gets it away. Ked to Cordai. Trying to play it back. And Nip Trucks with the follow up shot. Might find the net. Doesn't in the end. And Ked to pinch it away. Oggy up high without boost. Couldn't get the shot with 90 seconds left. It seems like AVX are just getting shots on to play down the clock. As the shot goes in here, Nip Trot <laughs> misses the ball. Keds couldn't recover. Well, Ked could recover, sorry. Nip Trot with the recovery once again. Thomas into the middle. Samurai out to the right. It's cleared down by Cordai and they're just passing it back and forth. Keeping possession, but the follow up wasn't quite there from Keds. 
Nick Troxton's shots didn't quite work out either. That's Samurai. On to the right hand side, following up even further. The fake on the opposition as well. Miss. Almost with the clear away. Keds keeping possession though, and it's up high in towards the net. Off the bar, off the post, cleared off the line by Samurai. Great hook away with 30 seconds left to keep it at 4 1. Cordai. Winning out with that there. Thomas. Trying to get the bump on the opposition. Didn't quite work out. Now Keds with the shot. Down off the bar into the net. Two goals. Scored in 50 seconds. If they do want to push to overtime. And kick off. They need a goal. Pretty much need two from two consecutive kickoffs if they are going to have a chance. Keds into the middle, Guns towards goal, Samurai's clearance wasn't there, Nip Truck was there to finish it. And maybe the fairy tale comeback from Shadow Stalkers might happen. Keds alone with seven shots from their team. Six seconds left to get another one. And Oggy's kickoff working out quite well. Ford, I, Ford, Thomas's clearance wasn't quite good enough and Nip Trox's pre-jump is going to be beaten out by Thomas. And it's going to be knocked down onto the ground. AVX with a 4-3 victory in the end in game one. It's a bit closer than it seemed throughout, but... Maybe Shadow Silkins could get back in the end. It didn't quite work out, but they can turn it around in game two. 21 shots overall in that game, number one. Action packed for you. Maybe it will continue here in this game two. AVX can go through with another win. Shadow Sulkers need the victory here to stay in the tournament. Cordo up high. Go for the shot and it's an opening goal for Shadow. They're going to try and turn it around here. Great finish into that roof of the net, just to get it over the last man. The shot there from Thomas didn't quite work out, Ked. Let's hold it on the right though. And Oggy pushing forward, the clear down the centre from Cordai straight to Samurai. Now Thomas with a bit of possession, Cordai there in his face to meet it though. Now Niptrox, getting the clear away. The right hand side tries to get the shot down, didn't quite work out. Now into the middle, looping over to the back post and Samurai able to get the clear. Niptrox into the middle. Thomas down the left as well, Ked with the return. Oggy to play it into the centre, they need a goal, they want a goal. But only a minute has been played, there is time for AVX. Thomas. Into middle area, Keds to take it away down the middle. Samurai over to Oggy. Play attempt straight back to Cordai and the bump on Thomas from Oggy. New Samurai back along here. He does let, get the clear though. Now oh, Samurai into the middle. Ked has to get that clear away. Thomas out to the right hand side. Oggy up high. Nitrox to get it all away as well. on the left. Cordai having to backtrack here to get it back. It's an open net for Thomas. Not with any boost though to get the shot in. Now Cordai can get forward. Samurai with the return. Hit the post of four. AVX with dominance in attack and they still haven't got goal to show for it until now. Of the net. They're able to get the equaliser with two minutes played. Middle, Oggy. We get that touchdown, didn't work out for him though. Now Ked in the middle, a great pass across the net. A great play from Shadow Stalkers to retake the lead.
Great communication there from Ked and Cordai to really string that play together. Unstoppable from the defence. Samurai into the corner, following up Oggy with the shot onto the backboard area and Thomas over to Oggy, back over to Thomas and they're trying to get a shot going here, Cordai pre-jumping that and that was a mistake in the defence from Shadow Stalkers but Samurai comes along and pops that into the net his lip drops just caught a bit confused about what was happening in the end Cordo going forward again. The Shadow Stalkers might feel robbed about that. Might feel a bit unlucky about the cells there. After that miss from, I believe it was Thomas. Nipshot's into the middle. Thomas with the recovery back and with the clearance. Ked onto the backboard. Might bounce down. It's a good read from both Cordo and Nipshot, but they get a bit confused there. As Oggy plays it into the middle. Samurai cross again. There was no one there to pick up the pass, so. Now, in towards the net goes. The follow up isn't there. It's another open net. Strike. Thomas is there, though. And they complete the turnaround here with two minutes and 11 left. Niptrox couldn't get up to it in time. And. Cordo. Into that corner, Oggy. Playing it forward, Samurai there to try and pick it up. Shadow Stalkers will be searching for that goal. Samurai up high, heads there to meet it. Oggy into the middle, Kozai there to follow up, and maybe the equaliser is. It is and 3 3 on the scoreboard with two minutes just under left. Sixth goal game already. Shadow Stalker's actually only having three shots. Cordo, all three goals from Cordo. Now Kez. Up in towards the corner. Oggy playing it across. Thomas. Did you get into that corner area? AVX. I'm searching for that go ahead goal again. Samurai now in towards the centre. It's open net, but it's pinched across a bit too harshly. But now Oggy into the middle. An open goal for Thomas. It will be taken. And AVX with their 10 shots so far. Ready to take the lead here. Cordai being the last man really in defence. Pushing forward a bit too early. AVX now have 80 seconds to hold this off. Oggy into the middle, Ked there to meet it. Thomas caught a bit awkwardly forward there. Ked with the shot, Thomas away. There's an open net. For if he can take it, Nip drops with the boost so to get back. Now into the middle, Thomas with the fake on two. Can he get the flick? No, he can't. Oggy with the follow up. And two goals difference here. The fake from Thomas is perfect. The follow up to seal the deal there from Oggy and AVX. As they try and push for the series winner here. Now Samurai up high. Thomas there. Ready to try and redirect that into the middle. But now Oggy's shot was a bit weak. It was a bit unexpected from the opposition though. Nearly caught them out. Going forward with Cordai. Play it to the middle. And the demo on Ked makes it awkward for them to push forward. Thomas caught a bit too far forward as well. Cordo with a goal here into the open net to make it 4 5. And there is a chance for them to turn it around.
just about 20 seconds to do it. Samurai forward, Niptrox getting the clear away. Oggy there to meet at the bump on the opposition. Cord, I can read the post. Bounce either. Now, Ked with the clearance away. Cord, I into the middle. They need a goal in five seconds here to stop themselves from being eliminated. But the clearance up. Thomas there to play it up even higher. Might be awkward for Shadow Stalkers. And they might push forward here. It will find the net. Cordai makes it 5-5 on the buzzer beater. What a finish from Cordai with the bounce on the ball. I wasn't expecting that. I nearly stopped there in preparation for the break. But it goes to overtime. Faviex get the next goal. They are through. And... Shadow Stalkers are out. Samurai over to the right. It's played back into the middle by Augie. And now Samurai trying to get that touch. It's cleared away by Ked. And Thomas with that miss. Augie plays it up high. Played about and into the middle it goes. Thomas up high. Niptrox with the clearance. Now on the right hand side. Ked. With the clear samurai. Just takes it down into the centre and pass one, pass two, one on one head. It's cleared away though. Thomas there close with the follow up. Now into the middle it goes, lip chops away. Oggy back into the centre. Looking it clear, leaves an open net, cleared away in the end. Oggy. Samurai, samurai block in his tracks and Thomas. Oh, with that play into the middle, it's a great pass. Great block as well. Shadow Stalkers are able to take it away though. Oggy on towards the backboard area. Samurai up high. Nitrox with the clear. Thomas with the return. It was saved away from the net. And now Ked forward. Thomas turning the wrong way. Not able to get that either. Making it really awkward and playing it straight down into the centre. I'm doing at this moment. But Cordai going back to his own half to get the clear. Ejap into the centre area. Give it to Ked now and Samurai over to the right. Thomas taking his time one on one situation. Cleared away in the end and it's shot to shot. Real overpowering plays from both these teams. No goal going in yet though. Caught I shot weak. Samurai with the clear. Two net overtime so far. Cordai with all five goals for Shadow Stalkers at the moment. If he can get a double hat trick here, that will be insane for him. Niptrox out and away. Oggy in towards the centre and. Oh, Samurai up high. Thomas can't quite get the shot, but does get the beat out. Now Oggy's shot. Looping its way up high. Couldn't quite find the net though. Samurai forward. There's a bunch of pressure here from AVX and there's a goal. Shadow Stalker's buzzer beater wasn't enough. AVX go through to the lower bracket semis and with 19 shots compared to the opposition six, it ends up 6-5 to AVX and great fight there from the Shadow Stalker's. Or it just didn't work out for them and our next game will be AVX versus Redwater Aqua in to that loser's semi-final. I think I might just take a tiny break here while we get everyone set up. I think I need a small break as well <laughs> before the next game after that so we'll be back with you shortly with the details of the next match which will be AVX versus Redwater Aqua. Yeah, we'll see you shortly for the next game.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the AUC or AVX, I can't remember, <laughs> versus Redwater Aqua. Um, sorry that Havoc isn't here. He has gone for a well-deserved break after um, a long, strenuous casting session. And you're all stuck with me now. Nonetheless, this game is soon to get underway. Both teams are ready. We are just setting up. And we will begin shortly. Um, as a prediction for this game, I'm not entirely sure who's going to win or who I want to win. I think I'm going to go for Redwater Aqua. Does seem like an underdog story for me but it will be close this best of three uh, avx that's who yeah so avx will be against redwater aqua um i'm going to say yeah i'm gonna go 2-1 to redwater aqua soon the players will join and they will prove this to us Game one just about to get underway. All players are in. Now we just get them to join. Okay. I can spell. I spelled got go to let these players know. But game one of three is underway. A V C X no not C. A V X versus Redwater Aqua. Ah, oh, that guy's name, please. Tom Tom, I'm gonna call him. Goes up. Yeah, Thomas. He's just trying to say short. The ball now played in center by shot your waffle and he gets an early goal within the first 15 seconds. I'm needing to warm up into this. <clears throat> gets the ball flicked over Samurai. Very well placed. And Thomas is unable to get back in time. One goal lead early on. Kick off now. In favor of Aviax, it seems. Thomas now trying to control the ball in here, but Og. Has placed it wide. Thomas is there again. Ball bouncing into the center. Samurai is trying to read the bounce, but Shoyo Waffle gets the ball away. Gets a second clear. Tries to get it completely away, but no. The ball is kept in the center by Thomas. Thomas now trying to get another placement in, but Samurai just takes the shot. 1-1 one, one in these first 30 seconds. Shoyo Waffle placing that into the center. Kurz couldn't quite clear it off the corner wall, and Samurai read it well. Placed it over the defender. And it's 1-1, one, one, already equal. Samurai playing the ball down the line now, tries to control his car, he does well. The ball is in the center, Og tries to block the keeper. And now Thomas trying to place it into the center, but Kurz is there, the ball bouncing around. No player is back in time, Kurz pinching it high. Is any of his teammates there ready? No, Og gets it up. Don't know how to, s I'm gonna call him Sing. Sing places it a wide for Kurz. Kurz now trying to get the shot. Air dribble. Unfortunately, Samurai was there. Samurai now placing it further upfield. Tries to pinch it into the center, but Kurz is there to block him. Sing places it up this wall. Bounces high. Thomas reads it well. Thomas now follows up and Waffle clears the ball. Takes a second hit. No, he just misses and Og places it around. Ball going into the center, but a great save from Sing. Thomas now placing it. Off the side, trying to get a touch forwards, couldn't get a ball center and saying with a bit of ball control, gets an odd flick and Samurai almost couldn't read it. Unfortunately, Thomas has to now rotate back in time. He does do so well. And Og tries to get the clear. He can't. Kuz plays the ball into the center and Thomas over to Samurai but gets blocked by Waffle. Samurai 
playing it high and Og trying to clear it. The ball falls to Kurzan, gets a nice pinch, but thankfully the defender was there to place it wide. Waffle and Seng both going up for that. Thankfully, <clears throat> thankfully it wasn't able to be blocked by Thomas. Samurai now trying to get the clear. The ball rolling around and Og getting a nice clear himself with his an open net. No defender. Waffle rotates back, goes for the challenge. Straight shot for Og and it's in. No defenders there. Let's have a look at this again. Half the game gone. Show you Waffle goes for this and just misses the challenge. I believe the player that was going to rotate behind him went for boost. Which is dangerous with both players still up field. 2-1 nonetheless to AVX. With half the game remaining. Thomas tries to get around the player but no, it was a great interception. Thomas playing that across. Samurai now plays it upfield. Waffle. Interesting touch. Samurai back into the center with help from Waffle. The ball played to Thomas. Thomas takes a shot. And Kurz and Singh both go up for it. Singh now playing that upfield. Kurz gets it around him. Tries to pinch it, but couldn't quite read the bounce. And Og trying to get it around. The ball's placed on target. Thomas, after the weak shot, is able to dribble it or row it away. Kurz playing into the center. And Og gets a great shot, but Singh placing it off the post. It didn't seem like it was going in, but just slightly more to the side and could have secured this game effectively for them. Kurz with a great save once more. Blocked. Thomas was by Waffle. Singh now playing that across into the center. Samurai and Og both go up for it. Waffle tries to get the shot himself. Og places it high, bounces down. Thomas trying to get the clear. It falls to Og. He gets a bounce into the center. Can Thomas follow it up? No. Waffle beats him to it. Kurz just can't quite get there in time. Samurai playing it around. Singh placing that into the center. Og now just unable to hit the ball. Thomas with Kurz going for that and Waffle and Thomas play man to the center with Singh tries to drop it low into the goal but it's wide regardless and Samurai keeps gets it over one. Waffle blocks it and takes it over Thomas. Og now playing that across. Singh I don't know who that was that got demo but it seems that Samurai's just going on a demo spree getting Kurz and I believe that was saying Thomas then getting Kurz once more of bouncing the ball into the center. Samurai tries to get the read. He does. The ball bounces into the center. But Kurz actually gets a good save and places it upfield. He tries to follow up. But Og gets the first block. Gets the second. Og now clearing it away. And Singh just gets boost in time. He tries to follow up and get the clear. He gets it over one. But Samurai's there to make sure it goes towards the target. Waffle to Kurz. And Og with a great save. Singh. With 30 seconds remaining, it's now or still 1-2-2. Two, two. And Singh tries to get a pass off to Waffle, but the ball bounces high. Kurz is there, but Samurai gets the save. Samurai now with the ball on the wall, tries to get it around Waffle. He doesn't, and the ball bounces away with the clear of Og into Kurz. Kurz to Singh. Singh getting it around one. Can he get the block? No, Samurai is there, and Thomas gets the nice clear. Waffle takes his time. He doesn't have too much, however... And it's zero seconds, and the first game goes to AVX Esports. Ow. Oh. On my phone. Close first game, it seemed. Redwater did get that first goal, which really pushed them in the series however an unfortunate two goals straight after from AVX one equalize within another 15 seconds and the next one halfway through the game I believe nonetheless game one does go to AVX esports game two is about to get underway kickoff goes in favor of Redwater it seems the ball played into the center Singh takes a shot off onto the backboard it seems but Samurai ensures it doesn't happen Thomas playing that wide Samurai is there gets a 50 with Waffle in favor of Aqua it seems but Og was there to clear it the ball now up onto the backboard Thomas with a dangerous attempt here saying it places that wide and Samurai gets it around Waffle tries to get a pass back from I believe Og there yes and Singh trying to now go for a clear. It's an interesting touch and Og gets it over Waffle. Samurai passes into the center and Og 
places it back where Thomas is waiting. Goes for a dribble away. He gets it away from Kurz. Tries to take it off the wall away from Waffle, but Waffle is there to deny him. Og missing the bounce and the ball into the center. Great shot from Singh and the ball cleared upfield. Waffle with a good bit of control. Tries to get around Samurai. Doesn't quite get the fake on him and Singh. Placing it upfield to Waffle. Waffle trying to get the cut back into the center. Og is there, however. The ball is played up. Waffle can't quite reach it into the center. It looked like Singh got the hit there. But the ball is upfield. The ball is up and Samurai tries to just place it over the defenders. Does it go in? Og hits the crossbar. So unfortunate, Kurz. Playing the ball up the wall. Ball into the ceiling from Thomas now. Thomas going for a bump. Unfortunately, he can't quite get that. And Samurai placing it around. Tries to get it over one. He does, but Kurz is there to block him. Og placing it high. Taking it up and away from the wall. Unfortunately, Singh is there to block it. The ball goes into the center. Thomas and Kurz both go for that. And Samurai now getting a good clear. Tries to get the follow-up. He does... Singh is there, hits the ceiling, Og tries to read the bounce, he does, placing it down into the center. Waffle, however, is the only one there. Samurai tries to go for the dunk, he does quite get it, but Singh with a great save. Waffle getting a demo on Samurai. The ball from, onto the backboard, sorry, from Og. And Samurai up to Thomas. Thomas into the center. Unfortunately, no one could quite get a shot off there, and Waffle goes for one himself. Og places it to Thomas. Thomas back into the center. Samurai looks like he's going up for that one. Singh, however, is the first to reach it. Waffle follows it up. Halfway through the game and still yet a goal. Kurz taken into the center, but Og is there to deny it. Singh can't place it well, but Waffle is there and does well with it. Og clears it away where Thomas is waiting, but Thomas does manage to get it over Singh. Tries to get it around the next players, but can't quite get it. Kurz Placing it across to Waffle. Tries to pop it back to him, but no Sing's there for it. The ball into the ceiling. Og placing it onto the side wall. Thomas does try to read it. He does do so well. And Samurai playing it into the center once more. Oh, can he get the shot? No, good save. Ball placed into the center again. Thomas with low boost tries to get the flick. And the ball is cleared by Sing. Og playing up the wall. Gets it over Kurs. Gets it around Sing. Waffle, the only one in defense now. Samurai, he needs to follow this and try and play it for Thomas. He does do so, but the player, the challenge it seemed from saying made it nervous and a difficult situation. Thomas, however, does get a save off of the follow-up from Waffle. Waffle looks like he's going for another, but Thomas, Thomas beats him. Singh, taking his time, tries to get around Samurai. The ball placed across where Waffle is waiting. The ball bounces awkwardly out he places it perfectly to Kurz who just misses but Kit Singh is there unfortunately he couldn't quite get the angle that he needed Og trying to play this into the center Thomas takes the shot himself Kurz into Samurai Singh with a good save Kurz now trying to take the shot Singh looks like he's going for a bump on either defender unfortunately neither were successful Og is up can't quite reach the ball and Thomas placing it across to Samurai Samurai getting a shot off but Singh, easy, clear. Thomas with a demo from Samurai. It's waffle. Wants to play it into the center to Singh. Looks like it was a fake or a miss challenge. And Thomas placing up field to Og. He does get a nice angle. Kurz can't quite reach it. And the ball goes into the net with 30 seconds remaining. Waffle tried to just get a flick there over Thomas. But Og was waiting patiently for that clear. And Kurz just couldn't get back in time. 30 seconds still for Red Water to ensure themselves at least an overtime. Ball in favor of AVX and very close to, of, for a shot opportunity there, but Waffle does get an easy save. Waffle now playing that high, trying to play into the ceiling. Singh reads it well, tries to pass it back. Kurz taking his time. Og is there for the challenge. Ball played into the center. Thomas can't quite reach him. Waffle does get the shot off. Samurai is there, however. Singh plays into center for Kurz and Kurz couldn't quite reach it. Thomas playing into the center once more. Kurz really needs to get the shot off. It just goes high. Singh keeping it into the center, trying to keep it alive. Og placing it high. Samurai looks like he's going to try and play it down, but he misses and it's a second game at two AVX Esports. A very, very close first game and second game 
to be fair to both teams, both teams did play extremely well. However, AVX did come out on top. We will be having a second game. I am unsure as to who we they will be playing. I'll have Timmy confirm that for me. Unlucky versus AVX, the winners of that game. So, another best of three. Hopefully that... And the winner of that game will be going to the grand final, as Timmy has pointed out. Which will be a best of five, might I add. This next game will be a best of three against Unlucky and AVX. The winner of that, again, will be going to the grand final in a best of five. Um, we can go on a quick break. So why does it hurt? I left you first. Can't admit it to myself. But I guess I was wrong. Knew the entire time. You were my dear. Gentlemen, gentlemen, bleh, 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 bleh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Collider Cup. If you do want to add to the prize pool, you can go to the link that will be floating about in the um, chat. If you use the code Collider2, capital C, and a 2 at the end, you can donate a 50 cents for free. You can add as much or as little as you want also. All is appreciated. Nonetheless, this game of AVX, not Redwater Aqua, Timmy. <laughs> Sorry, we just had a bit of a misinformation, if you will. But yes, AVX against Unlucky will take place very, very shortly. We are just waiting for the server to come back up. However, my predictions for that game, I have no idea about Unlucky. However, I do think 
they will win this game. I mean, I was wrong with the first one. Thought Redwater would win. It was a lot quote closer. However, I have no idea how this game will turn out. My prediction, however, will be unlucky to to sweep it to oh, just a clean sweep. We'll just be waiting on both teams to join, which shouldn't take long at all. And again, after this game, whoever does win, it goes to the grand final. And we'll be competing for the prize pool to see how much they can win. How much did you say? 1780, which isn't much, isn't bad. But if you do, again, want to add to that prize pool and give these hardworking Rocket League players some cash from it, you use the code Collider2 in the Mascherino link that will be floating around in the chat. That will give will donate an a free fifty cents. That's Collider2, capital C, two at the end, and to donate uh, 50 cents for free at Mascherino. We are currently just waiting for the unlucky boys to join. Hoping their names will be a little bit easier to cast. I will have to just hope, if you will. If you are, however, new to the ECC and you do want to join, unfortunately, lineups have closed. However, during the starting week, and the ECC starts on the 19th, if I'm correct. Yes, it starts on the 19th. Maybe you can nab yourself a team to be a sub of or potentially even be a main player if you're skilled enough. The MMR caps and the divisions will be set and released some point soon. I can't confirm when. However, again, if you do want to be a part of the ECC, there will be the Discord link below, which you can click and join into the communi community. There is the Twitter, which will have the tweets from ECC as to when games are being streamed and what's being streamed. Um, there's the YouTube, so if you have not caught up on any of the streamed games, the VODs will be put onto there for you to watch. Um, there is a donation page as well, where you can donate as little or as much as you want for the help and cause of the ECC and its rapid growth. Nonetheless, both teams are in, and we'll get into it. If this, yep, everyone is here and everyone is ready to go. Game one of potentially three, about to get underway. Kick off in favor of AVX. The ball is placed high. Samurai does try and follow it off. Can't quite get the double touch and Ejap clears it up field. Thomas is there, takes an awkward touch. Ejap reads it well, tries to get a double herself, but unfortunately couldn't quite read it. Morgs now trying to place it central, but Samurai clears it upfield. Max across. Thomas is there to block the pass. <clears throat> Ejap places it onto the crossbar. And Samurai does get a great save. Og doesn't quite get uh, the right angle of his flip, unfortunately. But Samurai is there. Thomas now with a nice dribble. Tries to play it into the center. Og he does, but Ejap is there to block it. Max trying to clear it. And Thomas getting the lock. Og getting a backflip and gets it around Ejap. He takes his time, places it high, tries to get it bouncing down, but unfortunately he can't. Thomas placing it up the wall, trying to place it to Samurai. He does do so. 
However, the shot is just wide. Morgs can't quite reach it. Thomas trying to get the angle behind the keeper. Fortunately, he's not successful. Og can't quite get the bounce down himself. And Thomas looks like he's got an awkward clear back to his own half. And Samurai tries to play it to Thomas. Thomas now trying to play it into the center of Samurai. Unfortunately, Og does thankfully beat the player, Max. I was going to say, unfortunately, Max had intercepted the pass. But Thomas now placing it back into the center. Max placing it high. He can't quite reach the second bounce. And Og taking a shot onto the back wall. Ejak placing it further and Morgz is there to try and place it to his teammate. No, Max beats Thomas to that and Thomas misses his flip. Samurai tries to get the clear, the ball bouncing into the center. Ejak placing it off the backboard. Backboard it once again and Morgz tries to tap it down and he does do so, so elegantly. Ejak placing that once. Max getting it over Arg and Morgz just angling his car perfectly and placing it far post where no defender could reach it. 1-0 with three minutes still to go. Can AVX pull this back? Or will they have to hope they can do better in the next game? The ball placed off onto the backboard. Thomas tries to reach it, but Morgz beats him there. Or with Og, sorry, with a great save. Thomas playing that field. Og tries to read the bounce. He does do so, but however, each gap is there to follow it up regardless. Thomas trying to play it into the center again. They're clear, but or Og does it himself. Thomas now tri trying to take it around. Max is there. Max trying to clear it, clear it into the center. But Samurai gets a block. Ball to Og. Og trying to get it to Samurai. Samurai trying to get it to Thomas. Thomas with the lack of boost really is going to struggle. Gets it around Max with a 50, which works out fairly well. Wolves couldn't quite get a good clear, um, center ball. Sorry, and Ejap clearing that straight into the center of the field. Max unable to reach it. Morgs <coughs> couldn't quite get there himself. Og rolling the ball around. Samurai with the lack of boost taps it in, but Max with a great save. The ball was practically in at that point, and he just manages to get the save. Samurai placing it off the sidewall. Now needs to try and get it off the back himself. Thomas gets the 50 with each jab, and the ball just gets placed wide. Max. Getting it around Samurai. Thomas now needs to make sure he doesn't get dunked. And he managed to get it around one. Og makes sure he doesn't get intercepted once more. And Ijap with an opportunity. Placing it across to Max. But Thomas is there to clear it. Samurai to help him out. Morgs takes one touch. Samurai is there. Gets an awkward hit. But Og and himself both get beaten by Morgs. And Morgs is in the center. Unfortunately, Thomas is there to deny the pass and shot. Og with a good... Powerful flick. It was quite low, unfortunately, and the ball was intercepted and saved fairly easily. One minute remaining now, and Thomas is up. Tries to beat Morgs. Unfortunately, he can't. And Samurai playing that back to Thomas. Thomas playing it off onto the back wall, but Ejap is there. Thomas can't quite get his angle. Thankfully, Og had placed his car there. Otherwise, Morgs had taken it around him. Max tries to get the ball in. It looks like he's going for a potential. For a lip reset or an air dribble. Thomas does get it over Volks. He can't quite read the bounce, but Samurai is there waiting patiently, and it's 1 1 with 34 seconds remaining. Thomas playing that high, couldn't quite reach it as it bounced too far wide, and Max expecting a more central shot, but Samurai placing it just behind him. Results in a goal. Equalizing the game, potentially going to overtime. Morgs getting it over one. Thomas hitting it high. Samurai is there. Places it to Og. Og can't quite reach it himself. Max placing it high. Looks like it's not going to hit the ceiling. Can he follow it up? No, unfortunately, Og is there. Morgs placing it across. And Ejap is there waiting, trying to get it around Samurai. Samurai with a lack of boost now. In a dangerous position, and Og with a great angle. And I need to see this again. Ejap places it high, and Samurai. Max dropping that down. And and it's just Og somehow getting bumped by Samurai, resulting in him getting a nice angle to place that into the goal. Now gets them in the lead with 11 seconds remaining. Max placing it high into the center. Morgz needs to get there. He gets the shot off and Samurai is there. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the right placement of his car. And it's still a tie. 
unlucky managed to get themselves this equalizer with four seconds remaining. Very close game now. Could result in an overtime. It seems like it will unless a kickoff goal does take place. Ball placed into the center. Ejap bounces it. The ball's still up, but unfortunately neither player could control it. Kickoff goes in favor of Unlucky. Samurai does place it dangerously across his goal line, but no one is there to challenge. Morgs back slips. Og tries to play into the center. Morgs does get a good read. Max tries to beat Samurai. Samurai playing it across into the centers. However, Ejap is there. Max places it back with the help from Samurai. Og now trying to go for 50. But Morgs is there. Morgs now looks like he's going to try and cut it around. Thomas does read it. This game does look extremely close. Samurai does get the shot off from a great pass. And a well executed finish. Og playing the high, bouncing it down. Samurai just dropping that into the center. And appears that a player has left. I'm not sure. I think he's changing car, if I'm not mistaken. But well played first game for both teams. AVX did manage to come on top. And there we go, the player is back. We will be getting into the second game. Rather shortly, yeah, AVX getting a lot of shots there. Can't quite tell how many unlucky had because of the player leaving. But nonetheless, it does seem like AVX were dominating more on those shots that game. It's just a matter of how many they can put in the back of the net. They only managed to put in three that game out of a possible 10 which just does show a lack of consistency nonetheless game two is to get underway now we will see whether ABS can take this home oh unlucky can get an early start as they have with EJAP scoring this first goal off of kickoff let's see just a nice 50 and follows it up one goal in a matter of two seconds The ball placed wide in favor of um, Unlucky. Samurai playing that high. Og is there, but Max is too there to deny it. Morgs with his Octane now tries to play into the center. Max and Thomas with a nice angle. Unfortunately, it's not exactly on target. Morgs placing it high with Samurai. Ball bouncing. Thomas tries to get it around one. He does can't quite get around Max, however. Max getting a nice flick. Unfortunately, Mo um, Og is there. The ball into the center from Morgan. Ejap just unable to get the shot off. Max trying to play it into the center. He does. Morgs gets a shot just placed wide. Back down into the center from Ejap. And what a great pass. Let's have a look at this once more. Morgs placing that up and the ball rolls high. Ejap reads the bounce well and Morgs is there still patiently waiting and Samurai is unable to reach it in time. Two goals in a matter of a minute. Max beating him with a fast kickoff but Thomas is there with a good read. Ball placed across into the center. Thomas is just trying to control it. It seems very dangerous and a third goal. This second one from Ejap now. I think Thomas just and too much control and lacked it right at the end and Ejap just took the shot. Samurai double jumped and had too much momentum. Very unfortunate there. And it does put them in an awkward position. The interesting kickoff. Thomas is there for it. Unfortunately doesn't have enough boosts. Max is there to try and put it into the net but Samurai blocks him. Samurai now taking a shot himself. Tries to get the follow up. Ejap is there. The ball bounces down. Max is waiting upfield. And Morgs tries to play it to him. Max does do so well. Let's have a look at this again. Ejap getting a block on Samurai. Morgs just taking his time, placing that just wide of the net. And thankfully, Max made sure it was in. Thomas was very unlucky with his poor positioning. <clears throat> Needless to say, keep 4 0 at the moment. 3 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Morgs with an interesting backflip. Og tries to play this around into the center. Ejap gets it over one. 
tries to get it back into the center. Unfortunately, she can't quite get the goal, but Monks is there to secure it. I believe they're both tied on shots now. Ejap, yeah, with a great pass, and Morgs with an interesting <laughs> must effect, it seemed. Kickoff now in favor of. It's, I think AVX <laughs> there. It was difficult as either team could really have taken advantage of that. Thomas into the center, and Ejap placing it high. Ogde doesn't get the ball. He does, actually, but. Gets a very lucky miss hit. Otherwise, that could have potentially gone into his own net. Og placing that is central with the help of the opposing team. Morgs tries to play it into a pass. However, no one is there for it quite yet. Ejap gets a demo, gets around one. Morgs tries to play it to Ejap. Ejap is there, gets a nice bounce and gets it around Samurai. Six goals in a matter of half the game. This is definitely going to put a lot of pressure on AVX. Fake kickoff. Interesting there and most places that high. Max does go back and all three players are up for that. The ball bouncing off the ceiling and it goes straight in. Oh my word. Let's have a look at this once more. Thomas. Places it back. Samurai, I think, pinches it with Thomas. Hits the ceiling and it just bounces down off the crossbar. Very well placed. Very <laughs> well coordinated, if you will. And the kickoff again. Unfortunately, however, I don't think that goal will make much of a difference. Eja playing the ball high. Thomas is there to block it. Morgs placing it down the line. Ejap and I believe Og are in rule, rule 1. It is now a 2v2. The Collider Cup has now become a 2v2 tournament with <laughs> rule 1 refusing to be broken from either team. Max with a nice little dribble. Good control of the ball. Tries to get an interesting flick. Unfortunately, Morgs doesn't reach the pass. Morgs tries to get it around 1. He gets flicked or oh, the ball placed over him by Samurai Thomas is up so is Max Max now with good recovery Morgs also the same and gets the seventh goal now with Brazil with Ejap and I believe Og oh, neither breaking that rule one until the very bitter end a minute and a half remaining Morgs dangerously placing that towards his own half. Ejap playing it high. Rolls it into the center. Where Max is there to follow it. The ball is now on the side. Looks like it's going to tr try and be passed inwards. Ogs there. So is Thomas. Unfortunately can't reach it. Morgs waits patiently. Samurai places it across to him. Ball is in the center. Max misses. Ejap's there. Ejap to Max. Max back into the center. Trying to roll in once more. Unfortunately, Ejap nor anyone else from Unlucky could reach it. Morgs gets a very nice play. Let's have a look at this air dribble fake, I believe. This was a Morgs placing the ball high. He just doesn't take it any higher and lets it just take it down. And it's now 8-1. Still a minute to go in this game. Can Unlucky reach double digits? Or will they not be lucky enough? Samurai getting an awkward flick. Thomas trying to clear it. Morgs couldn't quite get the ball into the center with Og just defending it. I believe these players are now just going to try and make sure there's no more goals scored so the game speeds up a bit. Still 30 seconds remaining. 20 now. Ball dropped down. Onto there, the ball pinched out. Samurai playing it back, making sure he's got the time. Very rushed attempt there from Max. Does pay off. Samurai tries to get over one. 
doesn't seem like it's possible. Thomas now playing it down and into the center with the use of Morgs. Zero seconds and it's a 1-1 game tied. Lucky played a lot better that game than they did the first. Can they still perform that way for this last one? We'll have to find out very shortly. I mean, looking at these, only two saves for Unlucky, two saves for AVX. And uh, ridiculous 11 shots that were on target from Unlucky. And only, eight, not only, eight of them did go in, which is a horrific amount if you are the defending team because you really want to be making sure your defense is at its all-time highest and unfortunately that game it didn't seem the case morgs going to flick into the center max trying to tap it down for him they've managed to get past two players and og thankfully makes sure it doesn't go any further thomas now with his no boost the ball bounces into the center ejap trying to get the shot samurai is there for the save morgs now trying to play it into the center himself and bounces off the back wall Thomas does get a 50, the ball bouncing down. Samurai takes it up the wall, tries to get it into the center. Thomas is there, but Egypt gets a pinch. Og himself is there. Ball rolling down. Max, awkward hit, the ball into the center almost. And Max dangerously placing it, and Thomas gets a goal within the first 40 seconds. <coughs> Very unfortunate hit there. I think Max just expected Egypt to reach it a little bit sooner nonetheless one goal is scored with the way unlucky we were playing it does seem like they should take this next game unless it was just a slip for AVX as the AVX as the floodgates just started to open after sh after one goal or two went in <clears throat> The ball now into the center. Max across to Morgs. Morgs is getting it around Thomas. Morgs with a good bit of ball control. Trying to bump Samurai. Max Conqueror reach in. Ejap there for the 50. The ball into the center. Ogs there. The ball is on target. Max with a great save. Great clear also. Thomas is there, however. The ball back into the center. But Ejap with a great save. Max can he reach it? Does back away. Realizing he can't reach it, but places it into the center with a well red bounce. Thomas and Og both playing a great shot the ball bouncing off the crossbar I need to have a look at this again Thomas down to Og ball hits the crossbar twice it looks like it was going in more but Max just couldn't get underneath it enough which resulted in a second goal for AVX this is looking a lot more one sided or <laughs> one sided the other side this game. Two goals already in the first two minutes. Og placing it away. Max now. Trying to play but Thomas with a great read and places it top corner. It's 3-0 with three minutes remaining. Og into Max. Max just couldn't quite get a good clear or a well placed one as Thomas just read it perfectly placing it top corner himself. kick off down to samurai samurai with a good bit of control blocked by i believe that was um max Ma morg now leaving a ball as Egypt goes up places it into the center but samurai is there max just unable to reach it morg's trying to get it over but samurai blocks him Egypt, the ball rolling down bouncing out into the center and max Gets it over one. Can he read the second hit? He doesn't quite reach it. Morg's trying to get it under the player. Unfortunately, Samurai is there still. Og. Unable to get it there. Samurai now trying to get the clear himself. Ejap. The interesting 50. Morg's playing it back to Max. Max over to Ejap. Ejap getting blocked by Og and Max. Morg's dropping it down with a great shot. Let's have a look at this once more. Og just placing that high. The ball bouncing down where Max reads it perfectly. And Morg's just waits for the bounce off. 
and just drops it under the crossbar where the player is unable to reach it. Unlucky, really need to climb back now with this 3 1. Two minutes remaining still, and Thomas tries to get the dunk. Morgs, a good bit of play as he gets it over one. Max tries to get into the center. Ball bouncing down, and Samurai making sure Morgs there couldn't get the save, the goal, sorry, and Max is playing it high. Tries to get it around Samurai, unfortunately he couldn't. And Ejap is there, backs away, and Thomas does beat here. Morgs, an awkward hit there, and Max trying to get the clear. Max trying to fake Ogden. Doesn't look like it was going to be the case. Samurai tries to get it over. Does do so, but Thomas can't quite get the read off of Morgs, I believe that was. Og into the center with the use of Morgs. He jumped back into the center. Max is there. Ball bouncing into the center where Morgs can get a shot. Unfortunately, it's just off the post, and Thomas couldn't read it. Ball now cleared with Morgs is waiting, takes the shot himself and 2-3 with 58 seconds remaining. Just under a minute. Can Unlucky climb back and make sure they get this third goal and push it into overtime. Kick off. In favor of AVX as they get a goal here. Og has just made it so much more difficult for Unlucky. Gets the kickoff just as he wanted and an awkward hit from Max and Og just placing that. Maybe unintentionally. In not maybe, it seemed very unintentional. But it was placed nonetheless into the goal and a goal nonetheless. So I'm sure he's happy to try and get himself into the grand final with the goal such as that. Morgs playing it upfield. Yep, couldn't quite reach it. Samurai now just Getting a demo, making sure there's one less defender for them to worry about. Og placing it, trying to roll it around, and Morgs getting a clear the upfield. Ejap tries to play it to Max, but Thomas is there, placing it around himself. And Og trying to get a clear, unfortunately, Morgs was there to block it. Max couldn't quite block Thomas. Ejap getting bumped. Morgs. Down to Max. Max trying to get it to Morgs once again. He backflipped, unfortunately, and it seems like this game will go to AVX. Thomas getting another goal. I just didn't expect anything else to happen in that game. Let's have a quick look at how this happened. Thomas just had enough boost to pop it high enough, and Morgs was unable to reach it. 5 2 in this best of three series. 2 1. And a series win at two AVX Esports. I think we will quickly take a break as this game has just ended. But the next game, um, if Timmy can confirm to me, will be AVX against Dream Eaters. Which I believe a very well um, team could have Konyo very well together. Um, from what Havoc has told me briefly. But nonetheless, yes, we'll be taking a break and we'll be back with you shortly.
Welcome back, everyone, to a grand final of this Collider Cup 2. Best of five series of Dream Eaters versus AVX, who have just gone against my predictions every time. I don't know if it's a side with them this time, but I think if I do, they may lose it. So, by my logic here, that clearly isn't wrong. I'm going to go for Dream Eaters to take a sweep of 2-1. Um, again, if you haven't had a chance to add to the prize pool, if you go to the Masherino link, which will be floating around in that Twitch chat, you will. all you have to do is type in the code Collider2, capital C, and you get to put in an extra, a free 50 cents. And that money will go to the winner of this game. Dream Meters versus AVX Esports. Again, this will be a tough game. And an interesting to one to watch, as it is a best of five, allowing both teams to really get a hold of themselves if they 
don't manage to play or perform well in their first game. <clears throat> Nonetheless, we are just waiting for these two teams to get in now. And we can begin shortly. Street meters are now in with Pioneer. Lecoms, I'm just I'm gonna call him Lec for short, and Petty. Against the AVX team of Thomas Samurai and Og, who will be joining shortly, hopefully. Again, we're just waiting for confirmation of the opposing team to join now. Once that is done, so we can get this game underway. If you are new to the ACC, however, and if you've only now just tuned in to see this final, um, you can go to one of the many links Below one leading to the Twitter, which will let you know what is being streamed and when. Uh, by the time they've tweeted out, that is. Um, also, there is the YouTube for the games that you have missed and you want to catch up on. They will be very important for the um, league matches, which will be starting on the 19th, which is, in fact, in four days. Um... If you do want to get into that, unfortunately the signups are closed. I don't know how Lee is in here. But okay, well, we'll start the game. But yeah, if you aren't able to... Why is... I'm confused as to why Lee is here. Um, I don't know if this was a sub. Or a, or a, team, a player that was meant to play. But nonetheless, we will get this game going. Lee going up and Lek making sure the ball is placed down and towards the half. Pioneer just getting a great goal to start off with. Let's have a look at this again. Oh, planting the ball high. And Pioneer with a great angle. A lot of power on that. And just dropping it in front of the net, which is wide open. Okay, Les, thank you for the confirmation to me. Lee is the sub for this game. Lek getting it under um, Samurai. Pioneer dropping that into the center and the ball now. Nutfield Petty dropping that and Lek is there to block Og. Ball bounces into the center of Pioneer as he plays. Is it high? The ball dropping down into the center. Unfortunately, Lee was there to clear it. The ball now just floating around in the half of AVX, ball placed towards the half once more, and AVX Og trying to play it to Samurai, Petty is there, does get a good read, placing it high, Lek is there, gets it off the crossbar, bounces out, Samurai manages to block it, getting a nice clear, Og trying to help them, Pioneer getting a great save off Samurai's shot, and Lek into Lee, Lee getting a nice save. Lee getting a nice flipper set into the center, I think that was. Unfortunately, Lek couldn't get it around Samurai. Petty to Lek, Lek now up high, trying to keep the ball low. Unfortunately, it bounces down. Petty, placing it across to Lek. Can he reach it? Unfortunately, he can't. And Samurai is there to place it away from his half. Away from his net, Og trying to Give his team the opportunity. Samurai getting blocked by Lek and Lee rolling the ball into the center. Pa Petty with a great clear. Lek looks like he's going to try and go for a fake play. Pioneer playing it into the center of the ball to Petty. Petty with a great shot, placing it behind both defenders. Pioneer placing that across. Petty just dropping it behind both Og and Samurai, I believe that was. Neither able to reach it in time. And it is 2-0 in this best of five series. 
Petty gets a great shot off. Looks like it's gone off the backboard, but Lee does read it well. Og clearing it straight down the line. Where Pioneer is waiting the ball to Samurai. Samurai tries to get the shot off. Petty with a great save, just hitting it off the post. Tries to get a block on Og, but the ball is floating around in the center. Can Lee reach it in time? The ball looks like it's just rolling towards the heart of the net. Unfortunately, he's just hitting the post. Like, keeping it up. Pioneer getting that high, and Lech just dropping it in. Half the game still to go, and there's three goals scored. Pioneer just placing it one over them all. And Lex just there to clean it up. Kick off. Where Lech is there to place it off the ceiling. When Pioneer is trying to take the shot himself. Unfortunately, he couldn't. Samurai gets it around one. Tries to get it over the other. Pioneer clearing it away. An awkward position. Petty tries to get a pinch across. Unfortunately, he can't quite get it. Og. Two. Samurai blocked by Lex. And Lex is there again. Tries to get the angle straight into the net. Unfortunately, he couldn't. And it bounced out where Samurai gets to clear. Pioneer. Dropping it down to Petty. Petty. The good bit of ball control flicks it across into the center. But Og is there. Pioneer dropping it across. Unfortunately, he could not get the bounce down. Ended up playing it wide. Lek. Gets blocked by Og Pioneer. Into Lee. Lee trying to get a shot off. Petty. Playing out into the center where Lek is. Unfortunately, Samurai does get the block. Pioneer now. Looks like he's going to try and get around Samurai. He couldn't quite get it, however, in Lek. Getting it around one. Tries to 50 it with Lee. Unfortunately, he doesn't go successful. Pioneer trying to get it around Petty with the help. Making sure it does go around the AVX players. Lek trying to get the shot off Lee with a good save. Petty now trying to play it into the center. He does place it out and Pioneer is there for the fourth goal of the game. And the fourth goal for Dream Eaters. Pioneer does, does just say there that he is an ESL monthly elite. And the, like Havoc did point out to me, these players are good. And Dream Eaters are a good team. And it's whether or not AVX can keep pressure on them. Unfortunately, whatever that was in there, I'm going to have to have a quick look myself. Lee, that was. Unfortunately, he couldn't place it onto the crossbar. It was an awkward hit. The ball was going wide, however, but he just wanted to make sure the clear was away. And successful, unfortunately, it wasn't quite the case. Ball up with Petty, takes control. Takes it around one, tries to get it around somewhere. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. Lech plays it to Pioneer. Pioneer off the backboard, off the crossbar, sorry. And Lech unable to get the follow-up and the right angle for it. Petty doesn't get it anyway. Lech... Can't reach it himself. Sorry, I'm <coughs> a lot difficult. <coughs> Pioneer trying to play into the center. Lek playing it high. Petty back into Lek. Lek with a great angle. Let's have a look at this once more. The ball placed high. Petty just tapping it down. Lek jumping early and dropping that into the goal perfectly it's now 6-0 with half a minute remaining Lek playing that high tries to get it to Petty unfortunately didn't get a powerful hit upwards Pioneer playing it away from its net but Samurai is there off the ceiling back down but again Pioneer is there to block it Petty trying to get a near dribble tries to go for a dunk but Lee places it wide 6-0 this first game seems to stand at. And 6-0 indeed. Can they get a consolation goal? No, unfortunately they can't. Dream Eaters with the first game of this best of five series. Just the amount of shots in that game from Dream Eaters. That 15 shots and 4 saves to the only three saves of AVX and the four shots that they had. Such a one-sided game could be a one-sided series. However, I hope 
this isn't the case. Game at two, soon to get underway. I think Og is struggling as Samurai has just left the match. They do have Thomas there. I don't know why they just haven't subbed him in, but no, the game seems to have continued. How much did happen is I think Dream Eaters were respectful enough to not try and score. And then game two is getting underway with the quick five seconds of nothingness. Pioneer playing that off the backboard. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite have the boost to reach it. And he tries to get the bump on the defenders to let the goal ball go into the net. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case as Lee gets a good save. Ball placed high off the ceiling. Lek is there. Gets it around. I believe that was... I, I can't quite tell who that was. I think it was Lee. Somewhere other the guess the block. Og now with an opportunity of an air dribble into the goal. Gets a demo, but Lek is there for the save. Gets it high. Can he get the double touch? Unfortunately, he doesn't get it lower. Lek taking a shot off himself. And Lee gets a good save. Pioneer with his lack of boost tries to get one more. But Samurai does ensure that isn't the case. Og tries to get a pinch. Petty playing that back into the center. Samurai, can he reach it? He can. Just about. Pioneer expecting it. Not hit the ceiling and was up for that. Petty across to Lek. Lek back to Petty. Petty with a great passing play. A great passing play from Dream Eaters. Petty just dropping that down. Lek doing the same. And Petty just getting an enormous amount of power. Just enough to get it around Lee. First goal. And there's still just under four minutes remaining. And the X do seem to be doing better in the defense. However... We'll have to see if this keeps up through the series and the game. Og gets the attempt of a flip reset. I'm not entirely sure if he got it. Didn't seem the case. Lee taking a shot off. Petty is there. Pioneer tries to play it across into the center now. And Lek reads the bounce well. Good bit of control. Drops it down. And what a shot. Pioneer playing that high. Lek. Odd bit of control there. And just... Angles his car perfectly to place it behind Og Lee and Samurai. Whilst going from the other angle. A tremendous second goal that was indeed. Lek playing that across where Petty is able to reach it. Og tries to get the shot off. It is blocked however. Pioneer goes back. Pioneer is now up in the air. Takes a nice hit. Samurai to Og and Og almost gets blocked by Petty and Lee tries to get the clear Og goes for a read unfortunately it didn't quite work out Petty placing into the center and what a great shot that was and a, what a great save that followed it Pioneer with a great bit of play trying to get over one Lek
Does this work? Ah, good. Also, I want to point out you've got this series as a best of three. Not a best of five. So, with Lek getting a fourth goal now... <clears throat> sorry I wasn't here, everyone, unfortunately. I think Discord decided to kill itself on us, so we've made do with a private call. Um, this is a best of five, regardless of it saying it's a best of three. Ball with an interesting placement and Samurai getting a nice first goal for his team in the series. Like couldn't quite reach it and Samurai just tapping that around him, making sure that it wouldn't be saved. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> Hog trying to get a shot off and Lek is there to save it. Lee taking a placement off the backboard and Lek rolling it down. Samurai trying to get the shot himself and a great save from Pioneer Petty. Getting it around one. <laughs> that one being his own teammate and another being Og. Pioneer with another clear off to the side. It seems like this second game is going to Dream Eaters. Pioneer playing it back into the center once more. Can Lek get there? No, unfortunately, Samurai does get to block Petty. Now, playing this into the center, the ball up high, dropping down Og, making sure it's not towards their goal. Pioneer getting one hit into the center, the ball placed back up. Petty dropping it down. Pioneer, can he get the shot? No, unfortunately, he can't. That's 2 0 in the series. There will be one more game being played. I think I, the players thought that it wasn't a best of five, seeing as the settings had thrown them off slightly. Nonetheless, this could be the last game as Dream Eaters have, quite frankly, dominated the series. All t players about to join. AVX versus Dream Eaters. Dream Eaters 2 0 in the series at the moment. <laughs> it's a good start with Pioneer getting a first goal there in five seconds. He just reads the bounce perfectly and gets over Lee, making sure that he doesn't get the save. Fake kickoff and Pioneer tries to get it around Samurai. Samurai playing it back up to Og. Og finally getting a nice clear, but Pioneer is there. Pioneer across to Lek and fortunately he couldn't quite reach it. Samurai, I believe that was, that managed to get the block. Lee dropping it low. Pioneer awkward pass into the center and Lek making sure that isn't the case. Petty taking the ball up the wall, trying to get it around Og and Samurai. He manages to do so with the help of his teammates. Pioneer popping that up. Petty getting two demos, trying to get the third. Unfortunately, the defender was able to clear it. Samurai. With Pioneer playing it into the center, Lek Gen just getting the shot off. Second goal in a minute. This series looks undoubtedly a win for Dream Eaters. But can AVX push this back? It is fully possible. Pioneer, playing the ball up to Petty Petty, reading it well, getting one touch, trying to get the second, gets a third, playing it into the center, unfortunately Og was there waiting patiently, trying to get it around Lek, doesn't do so, but a great pass, results in a great shot, but Petty with an even better save, Samurai I believe that was getting a demo on one of the players, Lee getting a great dunk, and unfortunately, I believe, I think that was Lek was unable to get the save. 
Lack unable to get the save here, and Petty just couldn't quite get the bounce. Well, Lee getting the first goal of his team for this game. It's seeming a lot less one-sided as it did in the first game of the series. Just does it mean that AVX have managed to pull themselves up enough to get the win? Samurai playing this wide. Pioneer playing it back into the center. Og is there, placing it upfield. Petty waiting as Lek and Samurai go at it. Samurai trying to read at the ball. Just four players going up for that. And it's a success for Dream Eaters. Pioneer taking control of the ball in the air. Og trying to play this away, but unfortunately plays it awkwardly into the center. The ball pinches up. Samurai getting a good clear. Og is there, takes a shot. Lek controlling it well. Looks like he's going for a potential injurable pass. No, just leaves leaves it for Petty. Petty now to Pioneer. Pioneer getting a demo on Samurai. Lex playing it high. Lee getting bumped almost. And Petty dropping that around one. Unfortunately, Samurai was there. Pioneer gets it around one. Tries to get around the next. Samurai with a great save. Lee just going upfield as he knows this pass is potentially coming. No, he drops back. Going for a more defensive rotation, which is a lot smarter. Pioneer playing that up. Petty playing that wide. And Lek looks like he's going for an opportunity. Placing it off the back wall. Pioneer couldn't quite reach it. Samurai. Place, going for a ceiling shot. A dangerous one nonetheless. Couldn't quite get it under Lek. Lee. Across to Pioneer blocking the pass. Which was intended to go to Samurai. Petty. Playing that to Lek. Back to Petty it seems. Nonetheless Pioneer tries to pinch it. Fortunately it goes... Towards his own half. Lek getting it around two players. Lee the only one back. Does challenge it. Zero boost however. Drops down. Samurai is there for it. Looks like he's going for a flick play or a pass. Unfortunately Og couldn't quite get himself positioned well. Petty and Lek both going up for that. Lek being more successful and Pioneer playing the cross. Pioneer up. Petty playing that down. And away in Samurai doing the same. Petty dropping that off the ceiling. Lek playing it across to Pioneer. Minute and a half still in this game. Samurai. Going for a dribble play with Og trying to get a demo on Petty. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work. Lek trying to read this and Lee dropping it down to Samurai. No, Lek is there. Pioneer gets the ball bumped away from him and Og tries to get the shot off Samurai now. Ball where Lek plays it to Pioneer. Pioneer to Petty. Petty back to Lek. The ball just floating in Dream Eater's half. They are trying to clear it. It does seem like an opportunity now. Pioneer gets the flipper. Unfortunately, he doesn't manage to do much with it. Lek trying to play it into the center with Petty. Unfortunately, Samurai gets a clear. Pioneer gets it around Samurai. Tries to get it around Og. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. Samurai going for a a doink I believe or at least a flick and Petty dropping that down to Pioneer unfortunately he doesn't quite get a read does get a nice pinch forwards Lee is there waiting gets bumped however Og really needs to get this shot off now the ball looks like it was bouncing off the ceiling and in 15 seconds remaining AVX desperately need this goal now Og dropping that down Petty is there to clear it and it's 10 seconds remaining the ball Hi, Pioneer is there to block it. Samurai, he can't quite get any get the ball anywhere. Gets it over one. One second. This is the final attempt for any team, and Dream Eaters have secured the series. AVX versus Dream Eaters is done. Dream Eaters winning Collider Cup 2. Thank you to everyone that had participated, and thank you for Timmy for setting it all up again. I want to thank Havoc for casting the first half, and thank you for letting me cast this grand final. Nonetheless, 